position. So we should be good. I feel We're like this lot. chair, I need like a, a board for my feet, man. <laughs> you can swing yeah. it. It's okay. I would have said at the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I know my feet ain't touching the ground. <laughs> it's okay. One day you will. Oh, the, oh, I'm past trying to touch the ground. So, um, you gave up so quick. So tell us about your fascination with this dude. Who's, uh, who's dude. This, this, is he 58 or 60? The guy oh, was Jason, fasc- Jason. The guy was fascinating. Yeah. If he gets kidnapped, I know where he's going to be at. <laughs> Bro, he's a, a military baseman. man. I think I'll be kidnapped by him. <laughs> 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 if, you ever, if I ever say a nigga got me, it's that nigga. <laughs> he's black? He's black, yeah. Um, wow. he, he has, you know, he's, yeah, he's black. And he has some, but so he it's grew like David, up. basically. David, but like, with a battery pack. He's like what an energizer bunny. He's like, <clears throat> I need to go, 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 go. Okay. This man, like, is a crazy. It's He's 58. Uh, went to the military. Like straight up military guy. Did acting. He was like in, like, Chinese commercials and stuff. Did a whole, he had a whole life before he even get got into the, he's mostly grip with gaffer world. And he's part of the Marin boy. He's very close with the uh, Eli, Eli Adela. Oh, okay, okay. Like that. I haven't mm-hmm. seen Eli in a while. We're trying to see yeah. what he's up to. So he's from that world, but man, I I enjoy working with him. But he's also an individual that doesn't stop. You know how we're like on the on the go. Sometimes we gotta do like six different things. He has to do that constantly at all times. And if you tell him to relax, that's like one of the most infuriating thing you could ever tell him. You relax. <laughs> if someone he's, says relax, he's, uh, he's like, like on motherfucker, the- no. Go and he's like fifty eight, but he's fucking. Jesus. He does more push ups than me. He's fucking crazy. Surfs every day. He's on another level. Um, good for him, man. That's yeah. good. You gotta, you gotta, gotta live an active lifestyle if you wanna. Yeah, move and on, every time move. I tell him about my car troubles, he always gives me advice of how to boob, booby trap it so I can kill the person that ever tries to steal my car. <laughs> I was like, you're trying to send me to jail. <laughs> but no, true. it's only right, Malik. You can booby trap it. You can get a wire, get a shotgun shell, fill it with da-da-da-da, pull a string, but don't don't pull it too hard. Make it nice and neat. And then when they pull, you get that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, like, yes. okay. Now, he- if Malik tried to kidnap him, it's definitely going the other way. <laughs> it's like, you thought. <laughs> What's it? Was it a yeah. uh, reverse car from Uno? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't know what exactly. uh, what Ethiopian tricks the man has. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> reasoning, <laughs> negotiation, <laughs> <laughs> open uh, discussions. <laughs> there was a. Uh, I told you this, right? There was. Uh, I was watching this video, and they were like, um, "Who was it? Was it a uh, Jordan Klepp or someone?" He put like. Republicans and Democrats and like you know just a round table and he was asking them it's like so you know if a war erupts in the US what you know over here what you know what how what role would you play half of those guys were like yeah no I can shoot the Republicans are like I can shoot guns I'm good man I, you know I'll be out um you know digging the trenches that's scenario and all that um and then the Democrats, some of the guys were like, I'll help with strategic thinking. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? That's like, you guys are down, man. So the guy's like, so you're going to help with the thinking, huh? You guys have guns and you, you know, your solution is to help yeah. think? But it I'm makes like, sense. Which part? It makes sense. That's If you want to be the most effective, Republicans are go and do. They don't think. They just yeah. go and do what they're told. So they're great that, soldiers. That's what and you then need. Democrats are counterintelligence. Counterintelligence and then, and then when a guy is shooting a whole house. No, you're, you're, you're back in base. Hey, I thought about something. Nah. We should run. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it's going to be. It's like, by Bruh. the time you build your pocket, by the time you agree on who's going to lead this thinking session, <laughs> you'll probably be yeah, on be a lot of great thinkers over there. A lot of philosophers. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should just create a media company right there in the military. <laughs> we'll, media. we'll spread the news. We'll spread the you news, want me babe. to shoot? I can shoot an R35. <laughs> That's, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do the media department. Yeah, like, there's that movie, was a Good Morning Vietnam with Robin yeah. Williams. Have you seen, ever seen that? Tell us the plot. It's the story about, this is the Vietnam War. 
And then um, this is at the time of the Vietnam War and America was losing bad, at that, you know, at that time. And they're kind mm-hmm. of on the down. So one of the military and they had a whole propaganda media that they sent. So they had a whole media department. And this Robin William was one of the radio hosts that you could hear throughout that time in the whole uh, camp for the whole military. And he just killed it because, you know, Robin Williams being Robin Williams, he just does improvise. He does this. And it was him trying to help the military survive mentally in that time when the whole world is telling them you shouldn't be there. And then on top of that, him fighting authorities because he wasn't sending the right messages to the military and he was too joking. But at the same time, he also made political statements and it's that balance. And uh, the point being is I in the military would be the audio engineer <laughs> in the booth. <laughs> the guy doing. No, so um, when you said that, I thought, I think, was it HBO? There was a movie that came out. Was it a movie or a series? And I think the girl was blind. And she was doing exactly that. She was uh, reporting. What was that I was watching? Actually, that I think was like a Jewish thing. Is it comedic or more serious? Oh, no, it was serious. Serious, I don't know. I know the mm. comedic one, the Foxtrot something, something with Tina oh, no, Fey. No, no. Oh, yeah, no, no. I know the one you're talking about. No, this was a serious one. I actually just watched it recently. I can't remember. It was actually an interesting movie. It was all these uh, apocalyptic stuff that are coming out. Yeah. Everybody wants the end times to happen. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> I know, man. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I was yeah. like, what happened to... Uh, <laughs> The Jetsons, man. <laughs> like, the, the hopeful the times. Optimism, optimistic future where we're the Jetsons. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Who's no, the Jetsons? We, it's a, uh, you didn't watch the they're Jetsons? opposite of the Flintstones. They're in the future instead. Same <laughs> they're family. the guys who made flying cars. Yeah. Oh. George Jetson. Jane, cartoon? his wife. Cartoon? Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's like very a old school cartoon. So it's the first time like anyone saw flying cars, the homes, floating homes. Everything was right? like... Uh, automatic so like there's a automatic dishwasher that'll go and wash their dishes exactly, and stuff like exactly. that exactly uh, yeah so all these concepts that we're seeing now like the technology like these guys were isn't like, it crazy how a lot of the, the things that we saw in animation that were just out of this world mm. are real now very real that is true are relatively true. real and relatively. it's like once we got it it was kind of like we didn't appreciate it as much <laughs> like, to be honest VR, yeah we do not appreciate VR. Enough. We still that don't appreciate well, VR. Well, to be honest with you, though, <laughs> honestly, it, it's because first it was ahead of its time. It was. Second, it's not enough data, like things to see, things that are very interesting for you to go buy a VR and actually immerse yourself, unless you're a gamer. But even mm-hmm. then, they weren't really catching up to how big a game was, so people lost interest quick. Mm-hmm. But I think it will still make a comeback at some point in time. Well. I think with the uh, Apple Vision, like at the first Vision I was hating man. on it. I, I was like, man, yeah. this is dumb. But <laughs> what are your thoughts? I started seeing the video of it. I was like, actually, this could be quite useful. Like if you're, especially if you're you're a flyer, like you fly a lot or you just yeah. travel a lot in general, it's good to have like that little interaction. And even though you'll look silly in your seat doing that, <laughs> but the idea of it is just, it's cool, it's different, and it, in a way, it immerses you into that other side of the world. Like the, your, it immerses you with your phone, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a different type of interactivity that's kind of video game like or kind of Sims like that where you're, you basically embody in this piece of technology, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's true. And still, the part that's missing with real VR is the social element. Like I can see you. Even though you can see a video display of my eyes, I can see you for real that was behind a these tricky glasses. part, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the eyes. Yeah. But so, you know, like we did VR, right? We set up everything on a VR and we were like, okay, this is going to catch on. But I think to your answer was the headset part. Mm. People didn't want to wear a headset, right? That's where like Google and them try to do those cartoon box is yeah, something easier. Yeah. They try to do the glasses mm-hmm. and everything um, to be able to simplify that. And also at that time, I think also when you're creating a virtual world, you started getting people feeling like they're getting sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. like standing versus yeah, sitting, yeah, yeah. but it was also content related. Um, 
So with the headsets, yeah, the plane, I like that. Yeah. Nosy ass people, at least I can work. No, I mean, if you're editing a video, even editing pictures, like there's a level of like, everyone is part of your edit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like yeah. Yeah. everyone around you is part of your edit, uh, but at least I being able to. You know, when you're like so focused editing. Exactly. Like, so what you doing? What are you doing? Oh, like, what do you do? I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm I'm like, like, I used to do it the flicks. Like I just be editing a video. Well, what are you doing? Oh, this is what I'm working on. Then I'll just not work on it from there. Oh, <laughs> that's, the issue. One of those. <laughs> that, that, that's my one thing especially if i'm in a zone mm -hmm. don't talk there, i put a headphone on for a reason i know don't, i know don't talk to that's me. true but now with the with the apple vision you're just like in the See, moment right but then the person next to you is gonna be like what are you what? singing in there oh <laughs> ugly ass bitch don't talk to me <laughs> don't talk to me i want to look at how but, you liking it but is yeah. it 35 <laughs> is it 3500 dollars worth nah Nah, but that's right Apple. Now. It's cool. It's Apple. It's very cool. But no. I think if I had to put a minimum on it, just that, hey, this just released, 1500 I think I'll that's, 1500 that's decent. It's new. Sure. And, you know, uh, being being them, they probably have two more versions and of uh, coming there's out. There's going to be many versions. I'll like cap that. you at a uh, <clears throat> Wi-Fi only, like the iPad. I'll cap you at a Wi-Fi only for 1500 Boom, 2500 You get the LTE and all that. Oh, you can do LTE on it? I'm not sure, but I'm just thinking. Because it, it mirrors your device. Yeah. Right? No, it's connected to your device. So yeah. Just so, oh, so it's everything. kind of like a It's kind of like, yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it will take if your phone or whatever yeah. has. Um, the one I actually I found interesting was I was watching the doing video calls. Did you see that part? That one's interesting. You yeah. can do a video call. Yes. It creates an avatar what of you. Of your, like mo of, emoji or whatever. Of your emoji. And that's the person that it's communicating with. Which also has weird eyes. But, so is yeah. it like other devices where you don't see any video or they just send out that avatar into the video? You are in the moment. You can see the other person. But they can't see but you. But since you're wearing a headset, yeah. it's using what it created when you got the headset. Mm. So created your It's AI. a version of you. Uh, to the other side, but you are in the moment. Is it, how does it, I guess it use waveforms if you're talking. If you're talking, it would be like. Oh, yeah, it's recording everything, yeah, right? Like you you're reading a, your a lips mic. and a uh, mic yeah. and all that. So so that it can. So you can say, you know, there's a lot of intelligence being used to make this thing work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think of the people that are using that and driving while driving? I think that's the dumbest thing ever, honestly. <laughs> Is it worth it, though? Nah. Mm -hmm. Well, what's yeah. I understand that you are saying you can actually see, but again, but no, your vision is focused like it's still in, distracting. It's still it's, it's still like a huge distraction. Though, you know you shouldn't do this, kids. Use your phone while driving. You might be safer using your phone while driving. I, I'm gonna <laughs> look at you have a literal screen, screen in your eyes. In your eyes, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, your reaction, your level of reaction on anything is lower. Transparency on it. Yeah. There's, you know. there's an opacity level right there where you can see some. Yeah. But you're still mentally distracted with a visual. Mm -hmm. So that for, that for those who use YouTube on the, you know, <laughs> while they're driving, is that any different? <laughs> yes, there is a difference. There's a difference. YouTube in your eyes. YouTube on the side. That's what I feel like. It's less yeah. distraction, right? If I get a ticket for, if I, get a well, ticket. not if, I did get a ticket for it. If I get the ticket for that, then definitely all the motherfuckers need to get a ticket. And that's oh, me yeah. being no, but petty. It's less distracting because it's, at least you still have, yeah, and it's I not mean, in your, you know. You, you look, but you have to turn your head to look at it. So that's, that's the big part. There, it's still like, it should be under the same category. It should not be because it will distract you from whatever, from that, the driving, if someone is merging and all of that. It does distract yeah, that's you. A non, be. That's a non stat yeah, argument. I think there's going to be. That is a non stat argument. Yeah. Like you should not you be trying to do that. So there is a, a thing too. It doesn't, it tries to find a pinpoint, like a hard surface to say, hey, it's tracking this point in your reality. So once you start driving, because I've seen some tests where people will ride the subway. Not drive their car, but ride the subway. They couldn't use it while they're on the subway. Oh. So every time they used it, it just went so, away. So um, I just saw a video where Apple has actually an option to to turn off 
the mm. the tracking thing. Oh, because so yeah, you're trying up, to. If yeah. you have multiple screens, right? If you have multiple screens, like if you go into your house, you can save it where you can put a screen all around mm. your house, mm. and you can mm. just walk and go to that screen and play with all that. And it's really nice when you're in a s- sitting position, mm. or if you have a if you have mapped out your home. But in a motion, it still passes you. Like you see the screen, and then the, when the car drives, it'll just the screen will go away because it's still assuming That's that it's fucked up. That's called an accident yeah, right there. But, <laughs> Because <laughs> 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 it's like coming to your face, man. Yeah. But uh, they have an option where you can turn that off, the motion tracking. So mm. it's nice when you're looking up, you can it can follow you. But it's just it will act like a screen. So whatever your face turns, it'll be follow you. So there is yeah. an option. So that way. but even if you have like that motion too, it still goes away because it's trying to it's trying to keep you at a certain plane. I see what you're saying. Because the yeah. idea is it's to center the screen every single time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So even while you're on a, like, off or on, and you're in a moving But why is it vehicle, moving? But your head is not moving, and the image is not so moving. It's not good But the train you, is just going forward, so why would it be but it's, it's losing a, it? It's like a GPS location. Like, it, it, you just pinpointed it to be here. And then if you move, oh, okay, okay. the vision you're using pro, the, GPS the device tracking. is moving. Okay, mm-hmm. if you're using the GPS the tracking, then that's different. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was based off of like you as a human no. moving. Yeah. So what it can't catch, catch up on is when if you do this like real fast, so then same, it has a hard time trying to, trying to same catch up. Same principle. Yeah. I guess don't ride the subway with it. <laughs> well, I no, don't get can, it, man. People are getting you mugged. You just got to nope. turn it off. That's what no. I thought. I was like, People are getting mugged I'm, and now you want to be expect? like less dis- more distracted in don't a train? Guys, let's Remember the crazy heist when uh, Beats by Dre came out? Oh yeah, the major. There was a huge epidemic of beats getting stolen, like, like on subways to too. Twenty fifteen, yeah. just snap and yeah, yeah. people are on subway waiting, doors open right when it's about to close, snatch yeah. out. A lot of people are getting robbed for beats. So it's this is very thing. bold. Thirty five hundred dollars on a train. Yeah, I mean on yeah. board. I mean it's like wearing a Rolex on board. <laughs> but Not you got a cheap ass Rolex for thirty five hundred dollars. I mean, a cheap Rolex is like fifteen. At least. Hey, you can get for so, six, eight. some of us don't know an expensive Rolex. <laughs> so, so uh, Plain James? I might get Plain James. You, so, you remember the, the Rolex project that we did? Oh, yeah. You did a project for Rolex? Yeah. We've done several. We've done several. Since when? You was on so one. We, you was on huh? two. Did you do what? one with the deep sea lady? The yeah. Alameda? The oh, yeah. Double, like, that was Rolex. Rolex. And then there's the other one. But that we were far removed from the watch. The, no, uh, they talked about it and we, we showed the watch. Yeah, because she Where? had the same she one she did with, uh, she dived with. Yeah, she had the oh, watch yes. diving. Yes, 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 yes. So, and the other the guy watch. that we did in Berkeley, I honestly, if you left that watch, we, oh, yeah, we were talking about that. If you left that watch on the table, nobody would have taken it. No. What do you mean? So they had like it, a whole a, dude. To secure the bodyguard to bring watch. the Rolex, yeah, because those are expensive. And this, uh, the 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 guy, um, I think it was a loner. The dad was actually he. They hiked. They used to do a hikes, and his dad was it. His dad. It was his dad. To, yeah, it was his dad. dad hiked with the founder of Rolex. Yeah, like he mm-hmm. was there when they actually made when he was starting Rolex. Yeah. So the watch this guy is wearing. It's, it's the original, original Rolex. Yeah. That's like an M. But least. you're looking at it, it just looks like a watch. It's a watch. Yeah. Well, but I mean. the value on that thing, but he also doesn't wear, he only wore it for the shoot and then yeah. he just pulled it off. Yeah, like, you got it, you got it. That's a collector's I have some item. pictures of that. I'm like, that's a collector's like, item, man. Average everyday <clears throat> hikes. It's like. Yeah, no, it's. Yeah, so, this is, he did Ever, uh, Everest Expedition. Everest yeah. Expedition. So that's I, I guess Rolex that's where started. they founded it. Yeah. That's, that's where they founded it. That's how Rolex started uh, I've, several times I've gotten into this watch wormhole on YouTube <laughs> and it is so, fascinating. The thing oh, is, you should have been on that shoot. I learned a man, lot. I didn't even yeah. know any of that. It's, it's really so amazing. Got, so you know the uh, San Francisco, the, uh, what is it called? Claire? Claremont. Claremont, yeah, yeah. Claremont has a room dedicated to... Probably. This was a... Uh, no, but this the, one in Berkeley. Uh, one in Berkeley. The uh, Claremont Hotel? To tend, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Chen Zing, the guy who actually went up with yeah uh, the first whatever. guy yeah 
So yeah. he's, they have a room dedicated to the guy. Mm-hmm. What do you mean a room? Like a, a showroom or a, one of the rooms? <laughs> like a, like a room. Almost like a conference room. It's like a conference it's room. Pretty big. But it's designed, everything, all these expeditions, all these oh, things are like, stuff. yeah. Rolls, so it's like an archive it's, kind of place. Yeah, but Rolex started for, uh, they got famous off of their watches working in harsh conditions, harsh mm, temperatures, mm, mm. and mostly for high high altitude hiking and everything like that and the mechanism that they did is what made them and then later on it started to become more of a fashion brand and mm. became more interesting that way but the whole point you pay a shit ton of money for a Rolex is how the mechanism works mm-hmm. and that mechanism will keep on ticking in no matter how harsh conditions you go to don't take it roll like on that. baby mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. right. so where's your Rolex yeah. I'm it's not coming. that rich it's in the mail it's in the mail. Yeah. The <laughs> yes, yes. But it's because if you buy the right Rolex, it's also an investment. Yeah. Um, and my goal you... is definitely get the presidential uh, Rolex for my birthday. What is that? Presidential is like one of their uh, main line. I also want a Yacht Master. But Yeesh. it's like one of their uh, main line. You want to buy a watch and a yacht at the same time? No, Actually, no. there is one. Yeah. <laughs> so there is yeah. a Rolex that is paired with a yacht and a Bentley. And the Yacht Master Rolex. Basically, Bentley made a nice car and then they've partnered with Rolex to make a watch that matches. And also with a yacht. But they do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the same thing of they partner with like uh for example, like Cartier, the Cartier watches. Mm-hmm. They partner with the Royal Family of England, so they have their own line of watches. So if you get that watch, the only way you can get it is if someone you know someone in the royal family. And then they can give you if you have that watch, that watch is 600 something like that thousand? i don't know what Damn. what wormholes are you guys researching in oh man, man it's fascinating. I mean, that's all rappers talk about is watches uh, so that's what got me first of this watch this, uh, this basketball player rapper breaks down his jewelry and his watch now they bust down this bust down that and then that wormhole took like that wormhole took like uh jeweler uh uh famous jeweler reviewing celebrities jewelries mm. and then he's like this is horrible never put a bus down never bling your watch you're losing value da, 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 da. and i was like really yeah. so if you add a diamond to a watch the value of that goes down i mm. thought you added diamond because yeah, it's the value not an goes- original anymore and then i was like why and then that took me to the plain jane world it's the same thing mm. with cars then- right didn't mercedes do the same thing you're like please do not put rims on this thing yeah 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 and then uh, with cars if a car becomes if you when you buy a new car right now it depreciates in value right real mm-hmm. quick mm-hmm. but if you leave it in pristine condition and it's mm. past 30 years it will be it will be considered not, a classic car now not not after not, 30 not years. this thing not the kias or the dodge neon or the dodge <laughs> not okay. those ones I right. back over my dodge neon I'm not gonna lie, all these ain't electric no cars uh, i don't think they'll ever be ain't no value going part up of the classic that world thing, man uh, i mean what, they'll, they'll, they'll be it? there'll be a market for it for what for those cars which cars the new electric ones right now they're the all Kia's? coming out yeah. Kia's gonna be extinct <laughs> <laughs> Kia the next thing they have to buy is junkyards <laughs> it's like they store the motherfuckers the fucking useless cars <laughs> the next thing they have to buy is a junkyard yeah oh man that's where their collection is gonna be um, yeah I'm curious where the electric is going man that's gonna be interesting yeah it's it's weird because for me, I'm I'm always looking at on a constructive construction uh, landscape because if you have to create a road that like recharges the car, that's tearing up a a highway, a working highway, just to add in those layers. What do you mean, Run like back? construction on a highway? Because mm-hmm. I don't like traffic. Okay, but if you wanted to build something to recharge your car by driving on these highways, who's I'm confused. It's the electrical concept, right? Mm-hmm. Of um, I think they have in 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 Europe energy, somewhere like use energy. energy kinetic energy to charge the car while it's driving. Yes, on the road. On the, the road. Yes. Oh, the, yeah. they're doing that. Oh, crazy! It is a well, place they, in Europe. Is a they had that idea first before even the idea of an electric car. Like, yes, that was kind of yes. like yes. the main thing that people wanted to do to even build an infrastructure that would make electric cars conducive. But I feel like some pedestrian is going to get zapped. <laughs> that was no, no, no. one of the main concerns too. Right? But, <laughs> yeah. but if you think about it, I think the that's only way... That's how you way, stop jaywalking. 
Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the only way to do it is probably trucks or like taxis. But I don't think even that technology is going to catch on because with no. the company that we were looking at, uh, that Chinese company that's making cars. BYP? Yeah, with bad branding. B B Y. I think it's BYP, I want to say. It was BYOB? No, BYN will be something. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Bring your own booze? <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I think they need to work on the branding title to get into the US market. I was just saying market. that about the Laowa lenses. I was like, them, them shit is hard to say. It is. Yeah. It is. But it's apparently they're like making buses and all that stuff in electric. Yeah. Because they're already in. Oh, uh, electric. Well, yeah. yeah. Like it all. Yeah. They're all over so Europe. They're, Chinese they're just not in the US. Yeah. No, but they do that in a certain uh, the cable cars. No, 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 no. This is all electric. Yeah, but like the Not buses. Not plugged into anything. No, the AC transit buses are low emission. They're not gas. Yeah, yeah. this is fully but, you taxis, know, the, everything. A the, full ecosystem. I know what you're saying, Like, uh, but that's... A lot of the buses, the buses were the one of the first vehicles. Those are hybrids. Yeah. Yeah, though, but the technology has always been there for public transportations. Yeah. Like, um. But it if you should. think about it, the amount I'm of... I'm talking about uh, the self-driving one is where I'm more concerned about. Oh, no. We're not getting, buses. We're, no. we're not getting there. Mm. No. That one's Unless, what I'm worried about. Only self-driving would work if they get those cables back on. Yeah. yeah. Because that will limit the, the route and also just... It's like uh, Trump. I'm assuming there's no driver. Trump, Trump. Trump. Like Trump. Trump. Oh, Trump. Okay. I'm assuming there's no drivers in those things. What there's, are you gonna be there's no or drivers. No, no, there were the airports. No, there are. Or, yeah. What are they doing? The thing just stopping goes, the thing at the stop. You can automate that. Oh, I think. But the a, whole system is not automated. In a, he just yeah. he just sits there boat. just to see. As opposed to actual, like, like the you, they're not at, controlling uh, anything. Airports. Those are oh, drivers. Yeah, those yeah, are yeah, driverless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need anyone in there. But it's a it's a very calculated route it stops it picks up people it goes it stops and picks it up people be like but I mean, and it has though. a timing but that's almost every train though even all trains are ran that's what by I'm it. saying so but you need an you operator to supervise just to and supervise then do yeah. super, you know any emergency stops exactly if the door closes too early before something they kind of they have that judgment oh, judgment call thing yeah. yeah which I feel like we always should have that yeah I think it's, you, you can't lose humans completely yeah. I know there's human error but a human will make a, a logical decision. Like what? Stop looking at TikTok? <laughs> huh? No, like if something happens, trying to make a decision where you can automate. That's that's the where, decision. That's where the cars, like even with yeah. the self-driving cars, because their fast reaction is, if it sees anything that it doesn't understand, its fast reaction is stop. Mm. Yeah. But that stop affects everyone who's behind you. Yes. You know what I mean? It's not like you as a human, you'll calculate. Instead of me stopping, maybe I can, ride the I can, for I a can move or I can look for a way out of it than just like, bam, in the middle of the well, road, dead stop. Well, what they're hoping is when everything is automated, then every single, let's say, uh, driverless vehicle, if all of them are driverless, then they're all acting on the same program system. So they can all follow each other much better. Yeah, it's not going to work. But that's not going to happen. So you, you have how many have car to, manufacturers do you have they're all fighting for the EV. same industry? But in, you know what I mean? I'm talking about like in generations. Yeah. And in right. my mind too, I'm thinking about the average human of, I don't want the governor, man, all of my business. All of my, in your car, yeah. nanny in your phone, nanny in your this. It's like. That's true. <laughs> so you don't hey, worry about um, that not, not this generation. It has to be a couple of generations <laughs> down. Like what, generations. Is what is that actor? Mashallah Ali? Yeah. Mashallah Ali, yeah. That movie that he was in. I can't even remember. It was just a weird movie, I think. Was about, it a series on Apple? The one that had the self-driving car? Series on Apple? Was it the Obama joint? No, not, not the Obama. Sorry, it might be uh, it's about the one another, It was a futuristic or... one. I think he had, he was sick. Yeah, it was on Apple. He had his family. He was sick. But uh, how swan? he would go through the swan? Is it swan? Like black swan? Or no? Oh, it's he a came recent back. movie. He came he back went, as a... Was it an episodic? He went, yeah, was he episodic. was going to the op hospital. He had the train. And his... he would be picked up by a, a driverless car. 
Yeah. And you always sit in the back seat, but there was never a driver. It just looked like conference chairs just looking mm. at each other. Uh, you know, like one of those, those Apple looking cars. I saw that car look mm. like. Mm. The, the, I mean, the, even in... Um, the concept cars, yeah. it looked like that, but it was black. That I remember, but I don't remember what the concept was on the show. The, probably the most self-driving cars in a movie that interacted with humans is in Westworld. Once they got out of it, like in season three. Once, or season Have you two, never season gone three. into Westworld? Uh, it's really good. It gets... But is it futuristic? Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. It's all self-driving. self-driving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's all self-driving. But if you... What I assume would look like if, if we were like fully into the self-driving world, it would be with the movie Total Recall or Minority Report would be where all of them are self-driving and they all kind of get on one. Like there's a lane. And then that's, at the beginning, you tell where you want to go and GPS takes exactly. it. Exactly. And then all exactly. of them are just falling in line, all straight going. That's, and when you need to change, it just automatically just does it for you. And it yep. does all that. And you can never override it. Or you that's, could I override so it. I think that was the action scene on Total Recall. That's a concept for trucks that they're trying to implement. Yeah. yeah. yeah for moving trucks across the US. Um, I think that will work. Yeah. That yeah. kind of would be the first test to see that works because they have the longest uh time travel so exactly it'd be a good way to test you know. the how, the longevity of and you know how your, much is picking up your pit stops you're gonna be stopping gonna here to, to charge mm-hmm. they're gonna have to do a lot of tests and they've already can. figured it out like they already know trucks can only use certain freeways you know like mm. you know what i mean like they, the yeah. infrastructure I mean, is kind of there but it's i'm talking more about like how to deal with weather conditions road closures um, oh. how to interact with other non-self-driving vehicles. Because if a self-driving yeah. truck Just decides to honk, merge on a small honk, sedan, honk until they oh, leave. Man, that's, Who's going to honk? That's years of red the tape truck. right there. The truck is going to honk by mm. itself? That's mm. decades and decades of red tape. Yeah. <laughs> if it merges into a sedan. It's going to be a, I yeah. think they got to go. If it runs into a sedan or a sedan was like, oh, this is a small truck, let me just go past it. But yeah. the self-driving is not. I don't think, yeah, no. They, I think the idea is to keep them on one lane, yeah. which they already kind of do on long, Long trips, you know, they stay yeah. on one side. You saw, you saw so that, that video where Dan a needs Tesla, to figure out what he's doing. Uh, a Tesla was behind a guy with a a horse and a carriage, like an Amish guy, Mm-mm. and then they were behind it. And the Tesla, you know, the motion sensor thing, couldn't mm. figure out what the hell it was. So the thing changes to a truck, sedan, motorcycle. This, 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 <laughs> this is trying to figure out. So it's glitching out. So imagine that. And all of a sudden, countryside, you see a guy with a horse walking on the street. What's that? Some driving car is going to ram right over. They haven't faded that data because yeah. it's just in California. <laughs> the fuck is a horse doing on the road? What horse doing on the road, man? And the thing is, like in Tennessee, that's a common thing. Yeah. Like where I grew up, I used to watch a man ride his horse on the street. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Let's go to the market. <laughs> Get another horse. <laughs> but I think, that because even with the uh, trucks too, like they... It'd be the fastest way to collect data on different types of cars and different types of speeds and different um, types of traffic, too, because they're Mm -hmm. like, like I was saying, they're always on the road and they'll always be driving. So you always even though you're driving like these back roads, essentially these back highways for uh, business, you eventually have to go through a major city to also collect how they move in Oklahoma City or fucking Austin or Houston or something like that. So, yeah. No, I think it's yeah. a good idea to do that, for sure. Yeah, I think, and I think I only do it because that's the only regulation they can probably implement without getting too many red tapes. Yeah, you know um, the most red tape is California. Oh yeah, it's always everywhere else. They can be able to do it. Texas well, is free no. for all. Yeah. Well, there, there's still gonna be pushback, but give me another state other than New York. New York. Oh yeah, I was gonna say Washington now. Um, Washington State or DC. Yeah. That's, uh, both, actually. No, Seattle is actually loose. I've heard they're, they're getting a lot more. They have, they're, I've they're heard they're getting a lot more. Than, than, um, everybody's looser than California or New York. Let's We can put those New, two in their New own New York, realm. I think, when you think about New York, uh, thinking of the main city, but outskirts, I think it's, yeah. it's looser. Large. Well, there's nothing outside of New York. Really. Yeah, but also I don't think you want people to be self-driving in a place that even regular people can't drive. Well, there's no power. Yeah, I mean, you need you need a special license to be driving in New York, man. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Because you've it's, driven in San Francisco. No, I've driven in New York. It's, no, that's what I'm saying. Huh? 
if you've lived in oh, like, if you, middle if America, you already are yeah. used to that craziness, you're used to okay, the craziness okay, yes. and the madness of yes. swapping lanes yeah. and doing all that. You've been to a you bigger city that's actually busy. About New York is when you go into the state, you know those tolls. If you don't have the New York license plate or the special, you know the monthly like a fast track, you pay like hundred something dollars to go into the state of New York to drive into the state of New York. Yeah, whenever wow. I get. Those uh, rental cars, I make sure they get all those things in there. Yeah, the tolls. Yeah, I'm I like, thought, just I thought this fast track toll was horrible. Tolls. No, New York tolls. No, New York is bad. Whoa, fuck I'm like, put every toll right thing that you can on that thing. Cause toll at every angle of New York. <laughs> Where was it? Was it Texas that you throw the coins in the thing? Was it Texas? Somewhere, somewhere. They used to. I've seen it in movies. I've never seen it oh, in you know, real life. It? Oh, I've man, never seen it in cool. real life. It's nah. hella cool. Yeah, you used to throw. Yeah, it's it's throw like a, a funnel cone. Mm-hmm. Huh. You've seen it? Have you seen them? I've seen it in movies. It's like if you watch like '90s movies, like mm-hmm. action. I think uh, some places US. still have it. Actually, now they yeah, have at least a toll thing. I remember like Taylor, yeah. you tossed the thing. You've in done there. it. Yeah. How oh, crazy? Huh? Where? Somewhere I'm trying to remember in Texas <laughs> or something. But like, it was That's like crazy. with the local. Oh, okay. You have to be. Yeah. 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 If you left me on that, I'd be probably yeah. stopping to try and go put. Man. Cause you're just moving. I was like, "Damn, this is kind of yeah. old school, but kind of fun." Yeah, some <laughs> wild west about it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> bro. Coins are gonna be obsolete at some point. Who? Cool. Like coins. I hope so. Get them out of here, bro. I had like I used I, to always have a pack of coins in my car, but then I was like, I keep looking at them. I was like, why would I ever need them? And I kept thinking of like, where in the I, world would I ever need coins? Everything I need, that I used I to them use to coins. get bubble gum at the bubble shop for the I kids. Got, so I got two places. <laughs> well, now three. What? Um, oh, yeah. You got to do laundry. Man. Laundry, you know, they're all card. There is card. Uh, but sometimes those coins come in, come in handy. Um, yeah, that's my only Laundry mat, parking. You know, it's still card. It's all cards. But even if you're like. It's app based, man. Fuck, I don't want to download the app and then do all the bullshit. Just yeah, so I can. That's yeah. like 15 minutes of me doing this bullshit while 15 I got. 15 minutes? Five dollars in coins right here in my car. I could just pop them things right in there, and I'm on my way. Yeah, but someone had to have mm. given you those coins to yeah. start with. Well, man. Well, that's what you but got like loose dollars in your pocket. Now the I, only thing I use coins is to give it to homeless people that ask on the side of the corner. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't use them. Like yeah. for parking, like if I have to do the phone, I just take the passcode, whatever that code is. I just take that and walk off, and all the way in my walking, I just download the app if I need the app. And I'll sit in a restaurant and I'll pay for it. Chill. Yes. Or I just do the credit card on the meter. Yeah. And then now I change the laundromat. My old laundromat was coins. This one has all cards and shit. So. What if the thing that I work? fucking love doing taps, bro. Tap is always. I hate inserting. I hate swiping. I don't know, man. Just tap tap. always makes me feel like it's not working. Uh, and then now this, I'm obsessed with my phone. I'm obsessed with my phone. Just this double tap. Uh, with the Apple Wallet, yeah. okay. I've, I yeah. don't think I've used oh, that much. Man. I use it a lot. I use you it do? quite often. Now, I, now this is probably my primary because it's kind way of, of using. It I now. forget half the time that I have all these things. Even Starbucks, <laughs> like my guy, the the guy always reminds me, "Where's your app? Where's your app?" Because half the time, first instinct is remove your wallet, remove your card. Yeah, he's like, huh? "You have an app, remove it." I'm like, oh, so, okay. Yeah. See, since my phone is so accessible. Mm-hmm. It's a hassle going to my wallet, digging through it, picking out a card. It's like exactly one second. Exactly. But you guys have that muscle muscle memory. And half the time, my phone like was it today? Yeah, in the morning, I had my phone. I was watching YouTube. <laughs> well, this guy is getting the coffee, and then it's time to pay. I put it down, and then I go to my wallet. He's like. Use your phone. You have yeah. your app. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. My phone's <laughs> occupied. My phone it's is occupied. YouTube. I was watching YouTube, man. <laughs> it was, it, yeah. It's mine started when I go to the grocery store. It's I want my because the line is long and I don't and I like putting my earpiece, whatever music, whatever I'm listening to. But the cashiers have this long conversation with you, which I don't Christ. enjoy anymore. So now all I do is this, oh, and then if I drop this and have this, the chances of having a it's, maybe it's the safe way I go to because they always talk to me. So immediately I just have it ready. Boom. Blap. You go to the one in reveal. Yeah, that's the closest to my house. Which one is that one? Uh, uh, pack and Save over by save. Little Caesars. Uh, Baskin Robbins. Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I want to go somewhere else, but it's just too interesting of a place. I went in okay, there. I, quit. Right? I went that's in fair. there too. I was From okay, the parking so- lot. 
when you walk down, the people you see and the craziness yeah, no. you see. I went to buy vegetables. I wouldn't find what I was looking for, man. I was like, damn. You don't go there. You don't go there unless you have to. I know, like, it's, it is the most interesting people go to that. Yeah. So it's that the, parking lot is an interesting spot. Yeah. Just that by itself. You walk they in, now, a they, have a, now they, they have a barricade. Now they have a barrier. They have a barricade. I'm There's like, two armed know. securities there oh, yeah. at all times. I feel and, like I was like, am I going to shop groceries or sell? And I was just going to the the uh, to the vegetable side. I was like, it's, yeah. It's the and there's not that many road. people on vegetable oh. side. Huh? If you go on the other side, on uh -huh. the soda side, the packed food side, packed. That's where people... <laughs> that's where people Man. And then you stand in line and it's just the most interesting people. So it was like your Walmart, essentially. It is it is the Walmart. I've never been, I don't, I don't, I don't I've never been to Walmart. I think I've been what? there maybe once or twice to no? Walmart. Yeah, hmm. There's no Walmart Walmart in He's the Bay in Area. San Leandro. San Leandro. Yeah. San Leandro. Actually, I ain't got shit to do. Why would I go? Was to? it Davis Street? I think that's the Davis, exit. that's the one. Yeah. There's a by the, I read somewhere that they're closing it's too. It's by uh the other Home Depot. Um it's like this big I heard ass shopping closing. plaza. They should. Right? I, don't, I haven't heard. Yeah, I read something about what? that. That that Walmart. Oh, yeah, they go yeah. through the same thing yeah. as yeah. all the other stories. They're they're a little bit, in my experience, they're a little bit more uh, safer than the one that used to be on Hagenberger. Oh, yeah. Nothing oh, on yeah. Hagenberger is Anything safe. Anything on Hagenberger no. is That's why In-N-Out is closed. That's why Denny. Yeah. Damn, bro. They're RP. All gone. <laughs> RP Denny's. Damn. Yeah. Denny's I've is never not, been I'm, to that Denny's. I've seen it open. I've I think never I've been, been there twice. Is that where you lost your wallet? Once. No. no. Yeah, I've been there twice. I lost it in Chili's. Uh, oh, it's Chili's, not Denny's. Denny's. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I thought it was that one. And this man knows those Midwestern chains. Him and Antoinette. That's all we know. got. I know. That's all we what got do you mean that's home? all we... Oh, back... We're back home. Memphis. Oh. Like, when you graduate, like, high school or any type of big celebration, it's, hey, bro, let's go to Applebee's. Let's go to Chili's. We got a place called Rafferty's. Because the... What people love to eat in Memphis is chicken tenders. So they will go to your finest establishment and go, they ain't got no chicken tenders on this menu. And you're well, like, so do you. That at, reminds me. That's what I was going to say. Nigga, that's, that's what, what you do. I'm like, that's what you do. <laughs> This no. man, you take him anywhere to get him away Burgers, from chicken, chicken you remember, sandwich, right? chicken tender, chicken wings. That's it. It took a minute to get you out of chicken duty, man. Man. Every single time we're like, okay, don't even think about it. And this if, guy's gonna order chicken. And then if you ask him, where do you want to well, go? Actually, I think Applebee's. Uh, Applebee's. Yeah. Applebee's. It's so easy, bro. It's like fuck. Two what for you, twenty-seven. What, what do you get at Applebee's? Two for twenty-seven. What is that? So, two, two chickens. Meals. You get two meals for twenty-seven dollars and an appetizer. It's, it's a limited yeah. though. Like they have a no. special menu. No, oh, it's, it's not a, everything. It's a limited menu, but yeah. it's anything that ranges. What I get usually is the uh, bourbon chicken and shrimp. That's and really it good. Gives you like mashed potatoes, uh, some onions, and How all that. How are those guys still in business, man? man. Oh it's no, good food. it's good. No, bro. I mean like I bro, twenty seven dollars in California for two people. Oh, and yeah. then they get and you the margaritas. Oh yeah, the margaritas. Yeah, the margaritas. Right, same like a price eleven twelve dollars, but it's a bowl. And they actually do like a. Uh, I think it's they do like six dollar uh, drinks every month, so they just kind of change. What type man, of drink this, you get this, each month? This, this is but like, uh, like you know, the true you're, you're American. You're like a walking like, man, uh, Yelp. Uh, is he Yelp or what is it? No, he's a walking food chain. <laughs> I know, man. He knows all the spots. A trashy American you know, uh, also, restaurants. What I realize is, I think it's just us. We live in a Bay Area bubble. Well, we're used to going to like uh, non-franchise places. Like we're accustomed to that lifestyle. Mm. Anywhere else, a chain food it's is about a the franchise. But you also have to think about it. Like it's how. I guess it's different. How often do you eat out? Yeah. I think that also comes into play, right? Yeah. Because if you're eating out like every other day or whatever, at some point you have to start thinking you can't be doing $100 every single, nah. you know what I mean? Or like $50 a, a meal. Yeah, that is true. Stretch that in a week or oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. So you got to have to be smart on ways to wiggle around. Mm -hmm. That is true. You know what that I mean? That is true. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll tell you this I've been to Applebee's Maybe twice in my life Until I met this man And then and now, within a span of I think There was a moment We went back to back to back I think we went like four times Yeah In a week? No, no In a, like the three months Maybe four really? month period Because we went, I went there, there for like, The uh, wedding dinner I think that's where it started No We went there for Antoinette's birthday That's it Yeah Started Antoinette's birthday And then went back again When 
for the wedding dinner mm-hmm. and then back again uh just us as a four date no that's when it started first we just did a date and mm-hmm. you guys picked the spot so we went to applebee's and then after that uh which you applebee's is this Natalia, is the one on uh berkeley by the water alameda alameda it's a uh, uh, office depot um but office depot safeway um uh, trader joe's wait where are you guys at ross alameda all the way down on park boulevard Office Depot, not Home Depot. You know where you go buy your hard drives? Yeah. Oh, Office Depot. Yeah, you said Home Depot. I was like, wait, oh, yeah. is there another Home Depot in Alameda? <laughs> no, Office Depot. Oh, all the way in the back. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. by the shopping yeah. center. Yeah, so it's closer to the uh, Trader Joe's side. Oh, okay. Yeah, Got it. right Got in between it. Coles and Trader Joe's. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, back to back. We've only been there maybe twice in my whole existence and until now, now six times because yeah. <laughs> now they got 26 dollars for two people damn yeah. now they got yeah. a bourbon uh steak and shrimp yeah it's pretty good pretty good it's the margaritas that got me yeah yeah and <laughs> that was it we that like chilies too like we go actually we probably go to chilies more than we go to uh applebee's never been to chilies what chilies do you go to it's the one uh it's kind of like san leandro by the Sheriff Station and whatnot. It's like Sheriff Station, you pop a right, then a left, and then it's like this big old plaza. It's like a shopping center. Oh, you know what I'm okay, talking about? okay, you okay. You got okay. the 24 hour fitness and all that. Okay. Yeah, I think I know where you were. Mm-hmm. So um, we go there more than anywhere else. And we was actually upset one night because it got a little rowdy. Not us. But before we got there, it was like a, a fight that <laughs> turned into a shooting. And huh? so, yeah. So they were like closed for like two weeks. Damn. So she was like, yeah, let's try Chili's again. And I'm going to tell you why we go to Chili's. So, so she was like, yeah, let's try Chili's again. We tried like three or four times within those two weeks and it was like, mm. it ain't happening. <laughs> so Was it because they were closed? Yeah. Damn. Because of that one incident. And I was like. Jesus. It was one of those things I was like more mad that the incident happened because so we was trying to get some Chili's. <laughs> it's not those margaritas, so, is it? Chili's hook is uh, a thing called Texas cheese fries. And so it's basically like these regular ass fries, salt, pepper, whatever, cheese over the top, uh, green onions, jalapenos, bacon bits. And we just share those. And it's pretty good. Pretty good. Especially if you get them to do it right. Like they don't burn How the do fries. you get them to do it right? Sometimes they burn the fries. Sometimes they don't give you enough toppings. But you get the perfect balance of all the toppings. Mm. So are you Divine. the type of person that will send the food back to go make it right? No. Antoine, I will suffer through it. <laughs> Antoinette, <laughs> she will, she tell him every time. I, I let her do all of it. She go, we're going to get the te- half order Texas cheese fries. We're going to give us extra bacon, extra jalapeno, extra um, green onions. And in my mind, I'm just like, you could just say extra toppings, but. It's, it'll be way easier. <laughs> oh, so, so you're confirming that they're going to put those ingredients in your yeah, dish. Because if you don't say them, they ain't going to do it. They ain't going to do it. Damn. So. Okay. How smart. So, yeah. So, she just says, she makes sure she says it, and then she gets the extra ranch, and then she gets the burger with all the extra toppings that she put on it. And then, I don't know why she don't remove the lettuce in the process, but she goes, <laughs> she'll order the whole burger and just take the lettuce off herself. <laughs> and she <laughs> doesn't like lettuce? She don't like vegetables. I think it's the, it's the appearance. She don't of, like vegetables? No, she ain't a vegetable person. I mean, vegetables are, it's not something you like. It's necessity. Are you serious? Vegetables are good, man. I love man. vegetables, I love good vegetables for you, man. But loving them? I love yeah. vegetables. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's, what, what, what's your favorite vegetable? Carrot. Yeah, duh. Carrot. Carrots. 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 Point, though. Yeah. So, Raw carrot. So, yeah. right now, Manya is going through this whole thing of like, oh, I don't like vegetables. But well, he's chewing through carrots. So like, that's <laughs> okay, just, uh, technically, bro. Like, yes. What is it? Yesterday, I, it was like, what are they eating yesterday? And he's like, I want carrots. Yeah. Like strips of carrots. Yeah. Oh, he's eating whatever he's eating and just chewing on that. Hey, money. Right. I love carrots too. But that's the only no vegetable. vegetable. Because carrots technically should be a fruit. They because be. they're sweet. No, they're not. No, because they're in the category of taste-wise. They are in the category of fruit. They're very nice and sweet. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Really? Yeah. I love, I love celery, celery, man. Anytime we get wings, I'm the one eating I am, celery. I enjoy oh, that. It's, if it's I have like to eat crunchy. celery, I have to dip it into that ranch oh, no, so much I, that I, it's just yeah. ranch and crunchy ranch. <laughs> I hate celery. All right, well, favorite vegetable that's not 
A carrot, broccoli. I love broccoli. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you steam if it, it right, if you it's put enough. It's steamed, but not uh, overcooked. Lightly it's still salted. crunchy. Uh, see, I'm a, I need a mushy broccoli. Oh, I like the crunchiness yeah. of it. I hate broccoli, broccoli, but now I'm I'm liking nowadays because Natalia keeps making it. Mm-hmm. Is f- uh, fried broccoli like it's roasted? It's oh, crunchy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you fried get a broccoli. little bit of a crunch. Yeah, that one I'm I'm starting to enjoy, and that and cauliflower if they're all both. Cauliflower's good too. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so then you eat vegetables. Is cucumber? Is cucumber vegetable? Or yeah, f- yeah. yeah. Cucumber. cucumber. So I, love, I love me. Cucumber's a fruit. Cucumber's okay. a fruit. Seeds inside. What? Yeah, I thought it was a vegetable. Yeah. Seeds inside, fruit. Yeah, I would eat. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I guess I mean, tomatoes. I, grew up I guess I do. I think I, I don't like those. Vegetables. I think what I don't like is the is the the green green ones, the lettuces, the asparaguses. Oh no! If you get a good um, salad, man. Oh yeah. Again, salad. <laughs> I dip it in ranch, so I don't have to taste the salad. No, yeah. I think it's it's getting it a nice, sauce. well done. Uh, I was, I was, uh, I was talking about joking. steak or salad. What is no, salad? Well done talking, salad. Well done. Like, <laughs> what's the, the, the what's blend, a well done salad? A well done salad. That's like a medium is, rare salad, please. <laughs> it has raw. all ingredients mixed in it, right? So you got like the nuts, you got some cranberry, like so you it, like nuts. Uh, <laughs> when they're crunchy. So you just want to gobble, <laughs> gobble. <laughs> <laughs> when they're crunchy, I'm in town for that. Yeah, you man. get them, you shake them, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, damn, it's it's a um, yeah. as the people call it, a hearty salad. That's what I learned. A what? A hearty salad. So hearty, hearty. Yeah. What is that? I guess it's, it's a, good for your it's, heart and the flow of your blood and all that. Oh, the type so, of vegetable. So no salad. More so have like. More fruits and, like you said, uh, nuts. So like, no, it's yeah, almonds, like a mixed cashews, grain kinda, uh, kind yeah, of, stuff. yeah, well, that yeah, that kind of stuff. Those I but like though. I hate ranch. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of. ranch I do either. not do ranch. I can do ranch with with um, anything. I prefer vinaigrette, vinaigrette uh, olive vinaigrette. oil, like something a little the, bit more. Whatever they put on the Caesar salad, is it ranch? Oh, I hate Caesar, Caesar salad. Or is it? Is I think ranch? there's a Caesar dressing. There's a Caesar dressing. I like that one. I ranch by that. itself. I hate Caesar If salad. I have no other option, I would I take feel like it, it's a, it's kind of, I don't know. I think it's just a lazy attempt of making a salad. <laughs> throw these vegetables in there and throw, throw that sauce on. Just, just <laughs> sauce it <laughs> up. When your salad like, is you, trash, just put a ranch on it. You know, like you go to the south, like especially like even traveling, you go like to the south. They're like, yeah. yeah all we got is ranch. No. We, we just yeah. sprinkle ranch on it because or, or uh, Caesar salad because you know, we really don't want to make any of this. It's fascinating with Antoinette's obsession with ranch. That's a California thing. That's what I've learned. The, what do you mean? So yeah, Californians are big on ranch. You with someone inside the ranch community, mm. you meet all kind of weirdos who just love dipping stuff in ranch. So when I go to Chili's and she goes, "I need two extra cups of ranch," she will sometimes bond with the waitress on how much they love ranch and who has the best ranch. And I'm sitting there like, "Are we really discussing who in town has the best ranch?" <laughs> There's different types of ranch. Yeah, bro, he, he confused me at the textures. ranch. I didn't even know there was a ranch community. I didn't even know yeah, that. Is, I just find well, it a lot there's because they mix the ranches like ranch hot sauce. Like they mix it uh, with uh, yeah, they ranch? match. You see, uh, buffalo ranch. Yeah. But there's like they mix it with shit. You know, Americans they'll mix shit and sell it, package it. The, Isn't it Chipotle a mixed ranch technically? Most of it is like mixed with like a aioli or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like she half and chipotle half. Chipotle sauce? Chipotle sauce is mixed mm. with ranch. Yeah. It's, and then some other shit in there. Yeah. I'm, look, I, I don't care. Just give me the ranch and I'll do what I need to do. If it's a salad, vinaigrette. If it's wings, give me ranch. That's it. You do, That's because you, you guys do wings and ranch? Yeah, my buffalo wings. Is it to tone down the spice? No. It's just a good... Because I feel like you would tone down the spice, right? I want to look, you know, I want to mean mug you, but then I've seen so many people do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, oh, yeah. it's a you great on. combination of flavors. It just tastes quart to me. I mm. think Nanu orders honey mustard. That's what it honey is. mustard is nice. But not with buffalo. Not with buffalo, though, no. It's with it's uh, your fries. I will do a honey mustard buffalo because now that There's the, a honey mustard buffalo? Now that the spicy nuggets are back at McDonald's. What I do is I take my honey mustard sauce. 
And there we go to another change. <laughs> when the spicy niggas went away, I was in distraught. I was like, how did you not have the spicy niggas? You saw that nuggets? transition? <laughs> <laughs> you saw that transition. Yeah, that's, that's where these sauces came from. <laughs> Man, this is like a journey. Uh, this is like a personal journey. I like that transition into McDonald's. Like, just like slide that in, man. He said, so, not on the spicy wings. I was like, who? What? Yeah. Applebee's got another nah, one? Was it? Oh, okay. The spicy nuggets. Oh, no, we were done with Applebee's. We were chilies. Apparently. Okay, go ahead. And we're there All for right, the we, ranch. We caught up. We caught up. Yeah. And the now we're Texas cheese fries. And the Texas cheese fries. Why that are they called Texas really cheese fries? Because it's They're a cheese Tex-Mex steak. restaurant. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. And then now McDonald's. That's good fajitas too. Yeah. That's chilies? Yeah. They do oh, great fajitas. You know where Is I've never fajitas been to? Is it like a, a, a Mexican thing? Tex-Mex. What is Tex-Mex? Texas Mexican. Oh, Tex-Mex. So chilies is a Texic, uh, Texican. <laughs> yeah. That's it? Texican. That's, a, that's, that's really it. That's what that's a real word. It's a Texas it's Mexican. A tec, it's a oh, Texican really? restaurant. Oh, okay. Well, so I mean, it makes sense because the chili is Mexican. Texas and Mexico well, is like yeah. Texas. It makes sense though. Chili's is uh, Mexican. Now, oh, it is. You yeah, know, I go to Tex Mex restaurant. Americans don't do chilies, and I love the Tex Mex restaurant. I still get the pasta. <laughs> Isn't that Italian? Yeah, it is. I think the one thing I don't that's like good. about these chains is they have everything. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. when you know it's horrible. Yeah. You can't do everything. You can't. You need to specialize in. Don't get the fish. I think at don't most of these any restaurants with never fish, man. get the salmon. Because that comes from Safeway. Even Denny's <laughs> has a salmon. Yeah. I would never order a salmon from Denny's. <laughs> the only thing you order in Denny's is egg-related things. No. That's what you should order. That's the only thing they're good at. I'm telling you right now. The French toast. Makes sense. Toast. Oh, breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Breakfast oh, stuff. Right? Breakfast. Don't they sell That's breakfast? The... They never close, right? No. Yeah. Bro. Isn't that the, yes, the whole name? Yeah. They're pretty good. Uh, they have a whiskey burger that's pretty good. I don't know about that. But I, I there was a time, like smack dab on COVID, I had an obsession with their zesty nachos. Mm. Their zesty nachos is very, very, like, it has this, it's okay, but then it has this addictive thing where you just want more of it. Mm. And then at some point, I just ate so much. And I was like, I'm sick and tired of this. Now I can't even stand the sight of it. Because I yo, ate so yo, much of it. Like you, mid- you're maxed out on it? I'm maxed out. Like, I'm telling you, like, that 2020, those mm-hmm. couple months, it was like every other day. was COVID. Yeah, yeah. Every other day was a meal with those zesty nachos. Um, I was obsessed with that. Yeah. Never. But speaking of food chain, the one I've always wanted to go to, but I've never had the chance is the, the one where the the chef cooks in front of you. Oh, Benihana's? Oh, Benihana's. Benihana's is a lot of fun. I've never been You've to never one. You've never been to one? I've never been. I don't even know where is, there is one. Uh, yeah. The one I, there's one in San, San Francisco. But, uh, no, there used to be one. Oh, it closed. The one in Berkeley. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Um, the only Did one I knew of was Milpitas, actually. Milpitas. That's one I went to. Check the Berkeley one. I don't know if it closed. But I, there was a Benihana by the water. Hmm. And there's By the waterfront? Yeah. No, I was just yeah. there. I didn't see any Benihana's. I'm no, Berkeley. there used to be one. I think it's There's a waterfront still. restaurant, but there's no Benihana's. Where are you? In uh, Berkeley? Berkeley Marina. I was just there. Uh, the photo I showed you where I was shooting by the water, we were there. We are looking around. I don't see any I thought Benihana's. that was Emeryville. Hmm. There's two of them. No. Yeah. Emeryville has a Chinese restaurant. No, I thought you were in Emeryville. You no, looked that was like the, the Emeryville one. The Emeryville I one, guess it's, it's, closed it's, down because that's where it used to be. Yeah, because I'm trying to think. Because I remember seeing it once when, during COVID, and I remember I was reading something about Benihana's, some of the stores were closing at that time, so I'm not sure if it was. Yeah, I think, the, yeah, that one but too. there used to be one in Berkeley. I went yeah. to that one too. It's fun back. though, right? It's good. It's yeah, good. It's cool. and we did I only see the videos uh, of the people that are chopping it up. Make sure you get somebody authentic. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it other than that. <laughs> Make sure you get somebody authentic. <laughs> Wait, the one we did, uh, the version of Benihana, the one we did in... Uh... What if they identify us? <laughs> well, they better identify themselves back in the kitchen and bring somebody real. <laughs> hey, identify themselves back to the kitchen. That's a good one. That is a good one. Find your way back there. <laughs> Give me somebody real from the place that Benihana comes from. Now you got it's me. It's America, bro. <laughs> it is America. <laughs> But it's just something about like them speaking more so as Japanese. It's something about them like speaking Japanese, doing the the, the tricks and stuff. It's just like, man, this is authentic eating. 
That's well, true. I don't I don't need that though because I've already been to those. Just like um, I've been to Japanese restaurants. Mm. Just doing the show, which I've told you about before. Doing the show, I've seen it, and that's like you know those are like seven hundred dollars a person to come mm. in, stuff mm. like that. You gotta go to San Francisco. The San Francisco one, I've been there for free, and I've seen. Oh, so you've been to Benihana? Not a Benihana. I've been to those authentic. Uh, Shops, uh, hibachi, hib- hibachi like restaurants okay, where okay. there's only like yeah. ten people. There's small restaurant. There's only ten people. You have to reserve three months ahead, and it's like well, yeah, there's so different okay. ones. There's three hundred, seven hundred, and a thousand one stuff like that. And then you go through the courses and you learn about it and stuff. So I've yeah. done that. I've gotten authentic out already. Oh, I just want to see one. people. Huh. Huh? Oh no, that's like I gave me sushi. Yeah, uh, I San want Francisco. them bitches that are flipping and doing all the tricks. Yeah, so. You you get the authenticity with the flips and the tricks and some jokes. That, but, those guys are quite funny. <laughs> but you got to think about That's this, though. They're American. They are. Yeah, it's very American. Yeah. So, but it, put the show on. That's <laughs> how I see it. Put on the show. Look the part. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's typecasting. Look the part. Yeah, because. It's typecasting. If my brother get up there and he's like, all right, y'all, y'all ready for some Benny Hines? I'm like, all right, come on, man. I'm from Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, oh, dog. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, Atlanta? Yes! That's all I remember. That's the episode that comes to mind. Atlanta, uh, when, when they, they're like, they're looking across the street to the restaurant. To what the is Popeyes. That? The, the Popeyes. The Popeyes, Popeyes yeah. I tried the obsession of Popeyes. It just never oh. grew on me, man. You talking about the sandwich obsession or just Popeyes? Just, I, yeah, I don't like the sandwich. You're, you're not doing it anymore. It's well, you, get the time you and I Jason are obsessed with Popeyes. J- now Jason was, Jason right. was like die had Popeyes. Like, anytime he was like, <clears throat> I was like, man, you hungry? You want lunch? I was like, yeah, Popeyes. I was like, what you thinking? Popeyes. Come on, man. It's we your fault. Popeyes. It is my fault. It is your fault. He never knew yeah. Popeyes. I, and you I tri- know. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. You got him addicted. Me too. Yeah. He got me. <laughs> now, he got me addicted because he used to get those tenders, the boneless spicy tenders. tenders. Mm-hmm. Spicy tenders. Spicy tenders. I tried one and I was like, what is this magic? And then he had the buffalo sauce. Oh, the Bayou buffalo so, sauce. Oh. What Antoinette is with ranch? That's me with honey mustard. Popeyes got this Mardi Gras honey mustard that has like these little peppercorns inside of it. So, to complement the spice of my chicken tenders, there's these spicy peppercorns that's hitting me in my nose. Spice on spice? Yeah. Oh, it is. Well, the, the, the spicy tender is not as spicy. Nah, it's more flavor. Like, it'll spice. be spicy for you, but for people like exactly, that eat spicy. Because I that tried spicy. it and my nah. stomach was like, yeah. Jesus. Now, the reason I stopped is the next morning, my stomach was killing me. Yeah. Every time I burns. ate Popeyes. Not only burns, I just like it's like Taco Bell. Like once you eat Taco Bell the next day or the later that night, you're feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. So I started to feel that with that Popeye, mean, so I had to stop. Somebody didn't cook it all the way. No, it happens every time. Oh, every time I have Popeye. So, so the I had spice to stop. is not good for you. That's basically it's not the spice. spice it's just work. the chicken. Just Popeye's food. It's very delicious when it goes in, but when it comes out, them bitches hurt. No, I stopped getting the tenders. I do uh, what is um, it? just the chicken now. I don't really do yeah, tenders. And they got like, crazy expensive now. Yeah. Uh, they just, so they just after I don't know when they just jacked up the prices and yeah that's why I just stick to like a two piece yeah. chicken tender combo like, yeah it's like twelve thirteen dollars hmm. I used to yeah. get like an eight piece for like seventeen bucks no. now it's like close to thirty food is expensive piece. now all this fast food is gone up yeah even yeah. even uh in uh Wingstop went up man Wingstop yes. used to be the jug, man, man. It used to be the jam man you, like six bucks. He, Damn, now I realize you've got me addicted to a whole lot of... Never had a wake up until I met this man. He introduced and, me to the seasoned and now, fries and, and the, the honey, mu- the honey mustard from Wingstop. For Wingstop. I'm like, there are much better wing places. Like what? I got to settle. They back home. Uh, but it's like a bunch yeah, of... Yeah, not here, man. I tried that fire wings. That shit was no, junk. Fu- That's how I feel about fire wings. Fire wings was <laughs> junk, honestly. <laughs> I was like, jeez. It's like a knockoff version of Wingstop. There's What's a, fire, wait, fire wings? What is that? It's, a, it's like in when Alameda. It's yeah. actually a franchise, right? Yeah, it's um, another like wing spot. But what I like is world famous Hot Boys. I don't know where that is. It's, it's downtown. Downtown. downtown Oakland. I'm not a it's, Nashville hot person. Not not so much. It's you can feel the herbs and spices on the top of the chicken. It's really yeah. good, and they have levels of spicy. Mm-hmm. Like I've, I've I've had a lot of spicy where they say it's spicy but not as spicy. That one when it says it's spicy, like. 
Oh, burn your insides kind of spicy. Nah, but there's levels. That. You can choose from no spicy, mild, mild plus, medium, yada, yada, yada. It keeps going. Oh. I can't get past the mild plus, bro. You had my wings, but not by me. Antoinette, for a jealous party, my technique, she made them. For the wings? What are you talking about? The wings. Yeah. So we went to, I think yeah. it was Thanksgiving? Yeah, Friendsgiving, yeah. That was my technique, but Antoinette cooked it. Yeah, that's your wings. Yeah. Yeah. So Fire wings. there's a certain type of, no, there's a certain style of how to make those kind of wings uh-huh. that I'm used to. Like, wing stops close, but I'm used to the wing being fried, throw the sauce on, fry it again, then throw the sauce on again. Gotcha. Nah, okay. Because the other ones dip it in everything and mm-hmm. then fry it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you fry yeah, them like- first. Mm-hmm. Deep them, but that means your uh, sauce is uh, what? Is it dry rub? It's usually no. Buffalo uh, later has to be something do, like wet um, rubs and stuff. Wet rubs, okay. Also, I've, I I just found this. The I, I think I showed you once when we were driving a, a shop called Sideshow on Sideshow's good. You've been to Sideshow, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's it's by Emeryville. You can drive down, but it's going up to Berkeley on that Stafford Street. Uh, you go up and down. Uh, uh, it's a chicken shop. It's a really, really good um, sandwich. Uh, but I tried their lemon and pepper because I'm not a fan of lemon pepper, just as because it's just too dry for me. You're, I know. That's why. I, that's why I mentioned it to you because <laughs> I, I know like, you. That, that's the only thing you eat. See, but I'm not a fan of it. I like the buffalo, the bayous, that kind of spicy. But this one was a a wet lemon pepper, mm. and they put actual lemons in there, and then they you know give it to you in a box. So the lemon also infuses back again. Oh my God! Sideshow, sideshow. Yeah. Okay, that's what we need to need bring you back. Wingstop need to bring back the uh, hot lemon. Those were fire. Oh, Wingstop. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I did not realize just putting lemon inside of it while you're cooking it so that it infuses adds a whole different taste to it. Mm-hmm. So it's really good. So I highly recommend. We should go there one time. Bro. Okay, that's my favorite place because the car wash I go to is like a block away, and that's where you, Natalia used to live a block away. She introduced me to him. Now every time I get my car washed, I have to pop in there. Get okay. Some lunch. We got a car to wash. I haven't washed <laughs> the car in a long time, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's a fun spot. You get uh, you some ciders and then you just... And it's shit. outdoors. It's pretty... Nice. Mm. All right. Sideshow. Okay. Yeah, let yeah. me know. We can we can check it out. Yeah. That's right. got to be interesting. Mm-hmm. Wait, what's this lens you're telling us about? The lowest. So you say they make the same lens that the we use. Same lens, oh, but uh, it's F8. The, but the it's F8. F8. And then they have two different the other ones. one is F13. 14. 14. F14. And um, then? Um, and then there's different angle ones. We so, have the different angle ones on no, this one. That's the one you can you mount on there, right? This one like or straight the, up. This one is just 90. straight up. So even though it's uh, mounted flat to your camera, it's... The lens goes down and out. Why? Uh, Don't you like, lose so light you can, doing that? Can, no. No, it's F8. So that you can go into different angles so that you don't have to shift your whole camera. So it, I think it kind of works And you don't lose same. any light? No. Huh. It's F8, so you can... You have capability to still shoot and that, very good. I think it works the same as uh, the other barrel that we got for this one. Okay. Where it's just like, you know, it's straight and it's tilted up. It's just kind of probably mirror system. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll check it out. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. I, I just saw a music video that they shot with it. Mm-hmm. And the footage looks damn near close to what they shot that day because it was outside. Mm. And they didn't have to boost shit. It looked really nice. Yeah, Very and F8, ones. you're a little bit better. Yeah. Because with the, cool. the stuff we're shooting in the uh, Redwoods, ah, we have to, we have to go have up to, to like 6,000 ISO. 6,400. 6,400. So. That was that was a rough one, but yeah, they're, they're yeah. Gone. But also the place was dark. There was no light going in. Yeah, we were losing light. Yeah, could have used one of the apertures. I mean, what are you talking about? You can you why are you hitting on the iPhone lot for flashlights? <laughs> they did their job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just look like uh, very very early morning. Like the sun just kind of peaked out. Oh, for that, that for that tree. Yeah. 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 We just no, have to go choose nice. a, another tree with the sun on it. it was probably that is a solution. good point, actually. Because <laughs> I had a shot at first, and then the sun 
went right away. Yeah, and I was like, that is true. Fuck. That is true. It was like, let's yeah. make it oh, work. When you when you framed it, yeah, yeah. And, and it was the sun. It was kind of we were kind of stealing a shot. But I, I, I love that spot though. I also need. Like, I love that, that space. Yeah. I did, I don't feel like we shot. We maximized that space. I'm not gonna lie. When you said it was a wrap, I was very confused. I thought we were only like a quarter way done. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, initially it was just gonna be us. Yeah. What do you mean? Just supposed like, to be uh, yeah. Roy, Maya, me and you, and then uh just and yeah. Kev on <laughs> oh, he wasn't supposed to be there. We just no. get the shots. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, so I think you know you're accommodating gotcha. that level. I think even us probably if we left us, we would have come with a ton of footage. Yeah. Yeah. And even too, I had to like like you said, steal shots. I was like, since we're walking back, I'm gonna try to steal yeah. some moments with Maya yeah. real quick. And yeah. those moments worked, like from looking yeah. at the edit. Yeah. yeah, you know. Um I felt like you could have kicked us out more. Well, that would have you could have yeah. called us out. In like, my mind, I'm, a, I'm like, I don't want to bring attention to him. And no, you could have you could have you could have just spoken to us well, like I have because you were at the front going forward you and see, but I saw him yeah. and I kept pulling back Kev yeah, also that we're not in the shot. Like, and I've seen that too. Being like, okay, uh, I'm I'm doing A, B, C, and D. Figure yourselves out. Well, that's DQ though. He he kind of does the subtle. That's, that's what yeah. I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Because his shots were really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's but, oh, yeah. but that's you know, like, actually though, I, I think too. you still, I think you still needed to be like, yo, let's yeah. stop and get this. Let's stop and get, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and I we'll work on that, you know, because well, I was talent, a part so of it I too. behaved like talent. You, you really took your oh, thing. A to part heart. of it too is like, even if I was like, hey, let's stop and get this shot. Too many ideas would have froze us. And that's, I was like, I don't that's want it. that either. Yes, that's the other. That th yeah, we, true. but we, you know, like even from the scout, like going there and seeing it, I was like, okay, there's a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of places that I spotted yeah. to 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 pick up. Um, but I think this is good, but I still think uh, we'll use that space for something. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that, that place is really I, nice. I just loved like just the isolation you yeah. get in there early in the morning. It's still isolated. There's not a lot of food traffic. Mm -hmm. I don't Even, think there would be that much food traffic there. No, it's the I was there on a Sunday yeah. and I only saw three people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just something nature ish, um, you know? It's a little scary that there's nobody there, but. <laughs> that the neighbors are there so that's well, I saw the neighbors so yeah, like, I mean they were letting off <laughs> why are you tripping man? I was there like we I got there before sunrise solo oh, and then I was in there I was like huh maybe you should thought about this mm. I was like you know I'm here for the scout I'm just gonna do me man yeah that's probably I was the only thing I think me. for me that kept me a little bit of like not too cautious is they saw Manya was there. So I was like, all right. Because when they see all the equipment and stuff, they were like peeking eyes. But once they Ooh. see a, just people passing by. Passing by. I was like, if they see Manya, at least they'll kind of, there's a child here. So there's it's not child. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, this is a public space, man. It is a public space. You know, yeah, it is a public space. We're all right. But I'm more concerned about the people. At least you're not going to get robbed. So that's good. <laughs> Kevo was asking me, is it okay if we leave our equipment here? I was like, if they so, come here to rob us, you know what? There's nobody here really? for miles. <laughs> there's nobody <laughs> here, <laughs> man. Well done effort to follow well me all the done. way. I know, you followed you me all the go way ahead. to, you to go. Focus, man. You and I think that was part of it, like good locations that you're like, okay, this is a good moment that you can be able to get something yeah. Yeah. without, you know, having to deal with it. But, you know, now you don't have to go that far. Just generate it with AI, I guess, with the things. Facts. Facts. I still don't trust it either. <laughs> uh, humans is humans, what man. it's still struggling with. The trailer that Ben sent on the on the well, pretty good, even with the freckles and everything yeah. on the face. I've was, seen it's some getting walking there. footage. And I was like, yeah. this walking footage looks good. It's figuring out letters somewhat. Even though it was a is that the, the new OpenAI release? The Sora. Yeah. yeah, Sora. Yeah, even though it was, even though it said Dandover on the car, I was still like, it's pretty good. I think it's <laughs> I can make it out. Stock footage, you you know, like what we've been doing, right? Like you'll find a few things, you'll replace it with something that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, like you'll key out some of those, rewrite them just to make sense. Um, but, you know, they were also honest in the release. If you saw the whole thing, they had oh, yeah. like, they generated someone on a treadmill. Yeah. 
and the guy was going the opposite walking. direction. I was walking backwards yeah. on the treadmill. Well, basically, the treadmill, treadmill is this, right? Uh-huh. Dude was facing this, this way. way. <laughs> <laughs> walking this way while the treadmill, the treadmill was going. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you, you have those moments that yeah. it's still, um, I think they're trying to figure out not that trying to figure out it will still keep learning and whatever right yeah yeah but stock footage maybe it's but again the rights of it right it's i i truly enjoy what it's becoming now but for it to get better it needs more data more data means you need more footage where do you get the footage now either they can buy it from people or they go get the footage themselves they need the data so where are they going to get the data it is learning and it's yes, running what, triple the speed, uh, quadruple the speed of a human learning. Absolutely. But where is it learning from? It needs someone to teach it, right? It's learning from. It's going right? to get better. It's but learning like, from you putting in that prompt, correcting that prompt, getting it right. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. That's all the training data that it's using. It's the same concept as what uh, ChatGPT is doing right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And that's the thing. Like you look at it as if you're not on the like the top top tier where you pay as an enterprise it's using your data to actually train the model mm. your own data that you feed it so basically yeah. all your data that you're feeding it it's open domain yeah. basically it's using it if you get it to the point where this makes sense it's taking that and saying okay save this okay this is going well this is going mm-hmm. well now we're, it's not one person. It's like everyone is doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys heard of, uh, do you know what the term tulpa means? No. Tulpa, T-U-L-P-A. I just learned about this. No. It's crazy. So tulpa is a definition of, simply put, it's like an imaginary friend, right? You have in your mind where, you know, you've as a child, they have like this, my imaginary friend is here. You talk about it and seeing that. Um, but Tulpa is a practice, you know, all Tibetan thing and all that. But it's a manifestation of something imaginary on purpose. So you purposefully imagine this outside person. So it's like your inner voice, your inner thoughts and all of those. Right. But people practice it so that it can manifest in their brain as a being. And they call that the practice of Tulpa or people that practice it are Tulpa mancers or whatever. Now, crazy thing. <clears throat> So they just released this in the v- uh, Venus Film Festival where they had this booth where it's, uh, what do you call it? Experience, VR, anything FC experience. But what they did is basically that you go into this room, you answer a bunch of questions, right? About this, your imaginary friend or what it is. And then you go into a room and they use AI and VR experience to reimagine your thought of that imaginary friend and bring it to life through AI. Interesting. So that like imaginary friend or that thought that you How had. Are they tapping into your brain to figure out well, what you Well, that's where the thinking. questioner is. And it's not 100% fully yet. But the whole point is there's this company that's doing it is basically you can bring your imaginary friend to life. And by answering, by prompting it of how you want it, and then it will still respond to you and does all the things. And, but through time, once you have it, you can really manifest a well-thinking, its own thinking AI avatar of your imaginary friend. You know, that's called cuckoo. Back in the day, that's what I used to call it. <laughs> you know what? And then like when, when you're like, yeah, DK has an imaginary friend with him sitting right next to him. Like, yeah, man, and you know what some cables are games? loose somewhere in it. I, once I did the research about it, first thing, every video, every article that talks about this, this is not no ghost thing. This is not a disorder. This is not a disease. This is not nothing. This is a purposeful physical manifestation. So why am I creating another person? So am I creating Um, myself? So no, it already... Am I creating a better me that I know I cannot be? It's going to be part of yourself as a thought being. But for example, you know, those inner thoughts that you, every single individual has, right? Of... The thing that tells you in the back of your mind that's something, or just the thoughts that go into your mind, that I think becomes it, it, an imaginary. There's a reason why Stacy in there. It's not, <laughs> it's not let out, man. People Who's have to let all certain that people stuff? when they think about that imaginary friend. There's a type of are person they that comes of into your mind. Imaginary friend, or are they thinking of a thought? I'm trying to figure out. Well, the, but different people what, have different processes. Why are you processes. thinking of a friend? Is this friend supposed this is, to do the thing that you're not, you don't want to do or why are you creating, you know, cause that's like the, um, 
when you have split personalities or whatever that the disorder yeah. part right <laughs> the other personality does things that one personality is not confident enough to do so yeah. it shifts to the other side and this other side can yeah. do right the split personality kind of thing right mm-hmm. so consciously now are you making this person for what what purpose are you making this so there's different person? purposes for different people right for children that's just their imagination going wild and a lot of people for example they used as for example writers have a lot of this tulpa because they're writing and imagining thing they create a character outside because they are writing about a character writing about a story so they manifest it in certain ways in their minds and different people have different reasons certain people use it because they need to brainstorm and think about it so they need some type of interaction so they have that imaginary friend some people are cuckoo and they have they need that kind of thing um now the reason they use tulpa and pushing that because it's a meditative practice and it's an accepted practice so they push that in the forefront but so in reality it does encompass someone. it does encompass the kuku the disease and everything watched. and it also makes it 10 times easier if you've taken drugs makes sense uh, to me it was it was very easy watched, to understand uh, because kids i just watched a kids movie uh, called movie. if not if there's a new movie coming out there's a new one no it's not if yeah, actually we were watching it with manya and it was just it's it's a memory thing it's about the mind mm-hmm. and it's a it's an amazing concept so you have all your emotions is that up but this was it is that up talking about the anger sadness yeah, all of them are kind of yeah. yeah. was characters yeah. right well there's and elemental then and then there's inside elemental out. elemental yeah. elemental <laughs> I think so it's good. It's good. It's good. So they had that imaginary friend which was the clown. Oh, uh, remember uh, the yeah. bomb? Yeah. RP. RP. Right? Bomb. Exactly, exactly. You so know when you said that that's a thought that came to mind. Inside out too of uh first the first one was when she was a child. So there's anger, sadness, happy, all that. When she got to teenager, another one, you saw that? And another one <laughs> came and disrupted the whole thing. Like, Who are you? I'm anxiety. <laughs> just disrupted. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> how are you going to be here? Oh, you're forever. <laughs> I was like, it was so fun and so accurate. I was like, damn. I'm going to like got good... me though. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, what was that? The one was like, was it fear? The little purple one? The little purple one? Yeah. Who half the time was on the ground? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then just goodness. dragging it. Kind of, kind of turning all the marbles as it's going. It's oh, like, man. I'm tired. But, uh, uh, that's uh, a kid's oh. movie, but it's also very, very I think like, that was powerful. very yeah. adult. Like, yeah, it was also very adult. Well, so. It's interesting what's happening. Because you're like, mastering emotions. The animation world is like, not too many kids are watching cartoons. So in no. a way, they're yeah. targeting people my age who are 30. Who, that's why Pixar now is going down. Yeah, because Pixar they're just focusing tanking. on my age group as to like, hey, here's some nostalgia. You watched this movie as a kid. Yeah. This is for you, but we're going to adult it just a little bit just for you guy. And I'm going to bring my kids they're, anyway. They're also part of you the, think you know, the HR kids are very and... smart too though. Well, no, though yeah. cuz like the yeah. fire the the other one with the uh, fire and ice or whatever that elemental. was. That's elemental? Mm-hmm. elemental well, was the, fire and ice. Elemental fire and ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah with, elemental. With all the different yeah, all yeah. the different elements. Oh yeah, yeah. That was genius. And yeah, Manya was, was watching like five no, times. But he's talking he about there's it. an age cap. Uh, there is always under maybe five or six. The until usual you... from six to, uh, they try to target at least 18 or 21 as far as like cartoons. Yeah. Because that's who's going to retain so them. Are, for we, the next. are we talking about difference between animation and cartoons? Same thing. So Technically, like, they're the same thing. The Pixar brand... Mm-hmm. targeting yeah. older so also now kids at seven eight up are more geared towards youtube and then the gaming content more than it is about this car exactly yeah. they're losing and YouTube, a lot of it. The, the consumption of content is no longer the you know like for us we had limited resources on how we can access content mm-hmm. absolutely they have too many places yeah you know yeah. what i mean like you have to kind of create a moment to force that time to be like you need to sit down let's yeah. enjoy this right uh, but if they already have a phone you're not watching the same thing yeah i yeah. mean 
when Manya was watching his animation, was that yesterday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Them bitches is like six hours. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is like geared towards. Pa-. I was like, six hours. It's I put one of them man. that said four hours. He looked at me and I was like, I already saw that one. I was like, like, you saw six hours, six hours, hours of my show. <laughs> <laughs> I found another six hour one and I played that for him. I was like, damn. That's it's on loop. Christ. Six hours. It's on loop. They don't um, finish it. It no. just skips going. Yeah, but that level of distraction until you kind of put them back into the room. It was just, I just, I just thought it was like this twenty minute or thirty minute animation. I don't think it would be like six nah, hours. Nah, I don't even know what they talk about for six hours. <laughs> but some guy decided I'm gonna make a long ass show. I like this either it's six hours of that content or it's the same movie six times. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That or they're true, watching um, adult things. They yeah. think. So for us in the house, like one thing that I, and he knows, I'm like, no hands, no fingers, no whatever, right? You know, the adults want, I've, I understand why kids or parents want to make their kids brand or social influences on mm. YouTube or whatever. Oh, Chris. But the minute that you add an adult into a kid's conversation, you know, it's like doing uh, funny stuff, right? Like just interacting, but they record themselves. Mm. So it bypasses the YouTube, whatever, and it appears on the kids, uh, like Octonauts or whatever, like to that age bracket. It's a random but, man. But language is still not there. And some of the stuff that the adult is doing is also to try and make their shows catch on. So they're also playing on the adult kind of side. Language ah, is not limited, even though the kid is there. A... So it's like you've uprooted your child from your house and you've been taken into someone else's house. And your child is also learning because they're picking up the habits that exist in this house. Mm. Uh, Does it yes. make sense? Yes. So like sometimes, like, you know, he knows it's like, that's why we're on the, on the device that's right there. Any of us walking around the house, we can see what he's watching. Yeah. Because half the time, if he's on his iPad, he's watching like some kids whining or doing whatever because their parents are okay with it. Mm. So he'll pick up that. And then the next oh, thing you're seeing, you're like, what new personality is this that we have here? But it's based off of the show that he was watching. That's uh, interesting. I never thought about that. Uh, it's interesting. Because they're so stuck in their iPad and their own world. Exactly. They're like influencers. Like it's they influencing. Are. It is influencing because they, they the, don't have personality yet. The parenting from those shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the that's that why you gotta. So interesting. That's why there's there used to be a bunch of shows that get sued because parents yeah. used to get mad. Oh yeah, no. So I usually tell them like, nope. So I'm like, <laughs> and you can tell like sometimes you're like, okay, that's new. Where do you get it from? Yeah, because at first. So like right now he's asking me, he's like, where's the iPad? I'm like, yeah, we're not going back to that thing. Man. I'm good Gosh. right now. Because at first I thought was, you was just talking about like shows with adults in it. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I thought. Because I grew up with. Um, it was a show that was called uh, Out of the Box. It's not like a parenting thing, but it was mm-hmm. just like these two adults kind of like, it looked like they babysat kids. But uh, they would just come, they would do like arts and crafts and shit like that, teach them letters, teach them valuable life lessons, about like getting bullied Yeah, and no, stuff this like is that. not it. Bro, I'm telling this you. This is them just I... trying to be as popular or, you know, like trying to pop- make, you know, like same thing with people trying to be famous online. Yeah. That's what these guys are trying to do. So everything they're trying to do is try to be edgy, right? Mm. But there's no restriction. There's no guidance on any of this, right? Yeah. So half half the time, if you're, if their household is okay, cursing or whatever, no different. They're going to well, do that I on mean, the show. Think about it, though. They can't, they can't really that. serve the requirements of every parent. Every parent has a different exactly. threshold exactly. and different yeah. level of tolerance exactly. for their kids. So exactly. they kind of have to make generic and it's upon the parents to really. But they're not making generic. Them, they're making their show the way they want to make their show. Yeah. So it's you, your choice to yeah. make sure that your kid yeah. is not watching. Yeah. They're looking for eyeballs. Yeah, right. That is true. So if you don't monitor yeah. what your kid is watching, it's like. I don't the, think it'll be that. Pl- I, I know you I have to do it in the it. real life, but I don't really think you have to worry about that and. Once you do the parental lock or parental guy, yeah. you no. Know, so that's the thing. Like he's, that's when I realized it's actually a big problem. Because even though you have that, some of these shows, because they're curated by adults, 
Mm. Yeah. They know how to tag it, to slide through and still go in. Yeah. Because he'll be watching like Octonauts. That's why I like Octonauts. Like it's six hours. Like <laughs> do not change that show. Keep going, right? Yeah. Keep going. But halfway, like if the show ends, since YouTube makes money by getting all these yeah. shows it will change it and bring like a whole other random thing which one which and once the algorithm it? starts going a different direction all these shows oh, are going that direction so yeah. it's going to a rabbit hole like us that as adults we go that is right true. you've changed the route you start digging in digging in by the time you're done your kid is watching some adult thing you're like damn yeah. Yeah. things you have to worry about yeah that's the um, future man yeah I mean, their, their world is interesting we yeah. had a a box that you just could watch what they put in front of you. I was telling Malik, I was yeah. like, sometimes I just want to be programmed, man. I'm tired of finding a show and I know, man. watching it. Sometimes you just want to watch four hours of Naked and Afraid just back to back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> naked and Afraid. <laughs> you ever watch Naked and Afraid? Are they actually no, naked? Why? Yeah. yeah. They're actually naked. They blur. They censor. They blur they censor out yeah. the shit. Afraid of what? So it's just, they drop two people off in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes it's Louisiana. They drop them off in the middle of nowhere and be like, all right, you get a knife, um, a fire starter, and whatever else, like a little bag, and something that you can bring to the trip to help you survive. You got to survive for 30 days in these con- the, in these horrible conditions, and they drop you off where there's like black widows and black mambas and all these alligators sometimes. Most times it's the Amazon. But they drop you off in these remote locations, and you just got to survive, male and woman. In this uh, place, you got to build shelters. So would you do you gotta, it? Hell no. I don't, no? I don't got those skills. <laughs> I, to me, to be you honest with you, I hate those kinds of shows. Mm-hmm. I would have I would have liked it more because there's the other celebrity, the guy that takes celebrities to survival thing. Another guy that Survivor? Survivor? Survivor. Maybe it's the guy. Is it, is it what that uh, is? That one has like I, what, 20 I, yeah. episodes this like by this people, point. Though. But that, that's what I mean. But the issue, what I don't like about it is they start doing the interviews in between yeah. and they start talking shit about each other and now yeah. it becomes a drama. Yes. And then that reality show thing. Yes. And I hate. I it am, is a reality I, show though. I it do. Is. It is a reality show, but like I'm talking about like the Kim Kardashian kind of reality show. So why are drama. people naked? Because it's more interesting. So the original idea was to have people survive in these remote locations just like our ancestors used to. What about cold naked. though? No, you people get, get sick. People get yeah. sick as fuck. Some Wait, people, I don't. I can't wear clothes. I can't cover myself they, when it's cold. Some people do eventually, but they find leaves and stuff, yeah. and they start. They like kind of make shit. a little. You know, this is called boredom. Yeah, and it only happens yeah. in other like but, fast world problems. That's what I'm telling you. Sometimes yeah. I just want to be programmed, man. Just cut my brain off. Man, there's still people. Like there's still people in Africa, man. Just like <laughs> you know, not fully, or even just in uh, Amazon or whatever. That's where they put them sometimes. So people get bitten by uh, mosquitoes, get malaria. They got to get e back back home. How much am I getting paid for this? I think you actually do get paid. Uh, Isn't there the person that stands wins a shit ton you of gotta money? You got to survive all 30 days. All 30 days and then you get like yeah. 100000 or something and like that. you also got to hike to... That's it? I think it is like 100000 So It is 100000 so Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Because they have to do it back to back to back. So they... And, and also what people don't tell them is... Grand, you got to hike to your e so if yeah. you don't make it to your evac, you don't win it. I don't know about that, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've I've only watched snippets of the shows. You guys want to be a producer on on one of the shows? I have been asked you to be. be I have I've been asked to be a camo for what was it? Amazing Race. Oh, nice. I said no because they told me. Yeah. It was with the, the Scott people, and then I was like, Oh yeah, because um, what is it called? He actually does it. He lives in Marine. Yeah, so show. I'm talking. I'm talking to these guys, and basically. You're a cam op that follows one team mm-hmm. throughout their whole journey. Mm-hmm. So you're going oh, to the same shit. Yeah. You're going yeah, to the same, situ- the same problems yeah. these guys are going through. You're going to the same problems you as are. they are. Yeah. But you get a little bit more. You get air conditioning. Nigga, yeah, but I'm you out still in got the mosquitoes, fucking... spiders. Yeah. Hey, DK. We and then up in you Africa. are on your own. Mm-hmm. So you have to figure out when they leave, if they decide to leave, all of that. Yeah. You have to, bro, no thank you. Yeah, not too no? good. Like your hot showers? That's fair. Because oh, that's when they be asking like, And then they were telling me like the issues of data management, of the problems they run into. Yeah, because uh, it's moist. So you're dealing with either moisture, extreme mm-hmm. heat. I think it's it's, it's there. Up. It's like, you know, 
the people who love that kind of adventure, I'm like, I'm good. I mean, I, I've, I've always had the fantasy and I've always, one day I want to just do National Geographic and go to the, like those, get with planet Earth and stuff we'll, like that. We'll send you, we'll send you to, uh, uh, what's that place of yours? The cold place. <laughs> Antarctica? Was it Antarctica that you saying? The coldest place? Oh, <laughs> Uh, Yakusha. Yeah, we'll send it to Yakusha. Yeah, no, Yakusha. Y a k u t i. Where is it? Uh, like Serbia, but it's the coldest place on earth. Fuck that. No. Colder than Antarctica. No, just take we'll me to take there. me to back to Africa. Take me to <laughs> India, the jungles, Amazons, or something, bro. <laughs> right. You but know, no, I really like want to. I really you... want to do one of those like Netflix like things, stuff like that. I think it was, but Blue it's very difficult. Earth three. After every episode, they kind of show like behind the scenes on how they got particular the last, shots. The last episode is always the whole journey. Yeah. And one thing I learned is these people is a lifestyle for them. Like, yeah. Like this is what they live no, no, and they, do. The, yeah. So I know it's rough, but at least for like one project, I, I, I do want to go. Yeah, because you're, you're in and out. And some of them. Um, and you really have to do so much research. Some of them went to school for it. Yeah, you have to yeah. go. So not not as sim. They went no, to the, film school, but they also went yeah, to yeah, animal, animal sciences, uh, yeah, nature you have or to, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so Nat Geo used to have a program that you they used to teach you if you would. And this is not just to be a cinematographer, but also like their whole program in Nat Geo of what they do and stuff like that. There's a whole training program that you pay and you can learn. And then once you graduate from that program, you can go and do the whole world and stuff. And I've always wanted to do that. But the Nat Geo kind of declined <laughs> throughout the years. What happened to them? They started Disney. going to, oh yeah, Disney bought them. And also they started to go a lot into modern day. It sounds like everything yeah. Disney buys dies. No, they just have a, a niche market now. Yeah. And dude, and cable. The Netflix one, is doing the same thing. Yeah. Well, so, like well you said, they've had it's, what? But one thing Nat Geo killed itself <laughs> is they <laughs> ran away, f not ran away, but they shifted away from the nature of it. I think they just, did all kinds of nature and now mm -hmm. they ran out and now they're doing like they're becoming more like vice i, I knew it was going down when i seen a reality show about people yeah. who own dogs and i was like well, just tell me about the dog i don't want to see the people yeah people who own dogs yeah, yeah. that's pretty much the show but it was and like then, yeah bro this is fluffy we gotta take fluffy to the vet do not explain this to me just show me fluffy at the vet yeah. So, so why fluffy do, I, why off the do I care about Fluffy? Exactly. That's, that's exactly. Fluffy. Well, Fluffy is an animal. So they kind of ran, it seemed to me they ran yeah. out of ideas. So they came back to. Go look to, for the most extinct So they're talking about animals. animals. That'd be cool. No. Like a fair, uh, that's what fair I mean. cat or some. That'd be cool. And like, then they start doing know. shows of like, you know, they do the whole Nat Geo introduction, but they're in the middle of the city. What do skyscrapers and the history of skyscrapers and yeah. the pigeons on the skyscrapers? And, da, da, da. and I was like, why are we back in civilization? Yeah, go back to the jungle and show me something. I miss when they were like green screen a cheetah and then the cheetah's walking through the skyscrapers. Yeah. No? What? You don't remember they used to do stuff like that? It would just be like a cheetah just walking through this abandoned city. I just assumed it was oh, green I screen. Oh, I see what he's and, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Yeah, that was the effects. Uh, no humans. Oh, humans no humans. Yeah. No humans. Yeah. I used to love their one of their programs that had the intro and it's just a bunch of animation of animals stacking up against each other and it kind of cre technically now that I think about it it looks like a weed leaf but by the end of it it's just a stack of animals and then that's how they always started their show and then they talk about a different animal predator and stuff I used to watch that as a kid so much I used to love those yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know it's really I guess took them out of business yeah the BBC <laughs> man you can't beat that British accent yeah David uh, Attenborough yeah, David Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Didn't he that, was also in the legal battle. Is that the guy who died? No, no he's still around. I keep thinking he died did, too. Uh, Blue Earth Three. There's someone who Which died. Drop. Wait. This oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the documentary. Yeah. I remember. Seeing I keep him. thinking that man is dead, but somehow I just keep seeing him <laughs> hearing his voice. But no, for real. Yeah. And then I saw his face for the first time because I've listened to him for years, and I was like, "Damn, Damn you're still cool. alive. Yeah. How are you alive, bro? And you hear the snakes. His credit, and I was like. David Edinburgh, that's my guy. But then I realized I never seen that man in my life. Like, I know nobody had ever seen him. We all know his voice. <laughs> and, I did it and I was like, huh? And those are the crickets. <laughs> if I hear any Murphy. other voice, I'm like, where's David? The Monkey Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> the only person I would accept outside of him is Snoop Dogg. Because when he did the commentary with the snake and the. What? 
You didn't hear that? No. Yeah, it was oh good. man, it was. What was it? A mongoose squirrel? He said it was, it was, was a it mongoose. A, no, he said it was a mongoose, but I don't think it's a mongoose because he didn't know what it was either. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's a guy. He was on the cliff, right, and yeah. then he's like, "Oh, them snakes are just coming, and it's a fucking crazy action." Scene. I think it was like, actually it was a groundhog. I think. And no, the it was a geico. To, it was a geico. Some, something like a geico. Oh, well, I'll show that video, yeah, bro. We'll it is the most absolutely where he's like, they try to get him, cuz. They try to get him. Oh, we popping. He weaving. Oh, we got out them bitch. Yeah, cuz. He danced. I was like, <laughs> died, bro. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got to show you this. Oh, man. Yeah, let me see. I'll do Snoop. Give me Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman has, has done a lot of them. Ones. Yeah, he's done. But he does more History Channel. Yeah. And uh, Samuel like, Jackson. Yeah. I'll do Samuel Jackson. Wait, Samuel Jackson? Yeah. yeah. Nah. I do nah. it just for the laughs. Yeah. Put yeah. Some cuss words in it. Yeah. yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Uh, Wait, the one for Will Smith was what? He just went around and talked about things? No, that's just, that was about him. That wasn't about the world. Oh. Like, yeah, I was like, because I was like, I saw it. I, when I, I used can't to... imagine watching a Will Smith thing without seeing his face. You got to see Will yeah. Smith's face. That's kind of the money. He's not a voiceover guy? Not really. I don't think so. Little cute little lizard. Yeah. Okay. What the hell is going on? Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, this yep. one. This is his version of it? They plotting right now. See how they got their necks up? That means they coming to get it. You should play it on the big screen over there. But you understand me? One thing about it. Oh, is he going to... I think he had a guy you see the feet on me? You see the feet on me? a lot of snakes, bro. Oh, he's gone. He's dinner. <laughs> oh, this is from that show they host with uh, uh, no, it's a Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, okay, okay, this is not the one they host with uh, with Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. Mountain witch, <laughs> yeah, he made it, man. Stay tuned. That's funny. That's a good one. But that's what I mean. We need Snoop Dogg. That was. I think you kind of need maybe like half an episode, like half an episode. Yeah, actually he can't do a full. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like half an episode actually teaching us some shit, and then <laughs> sprinkle a little Snoop yeah. Dogg here and there. The dog in nature. He does all the trailers. Huh? Yes. All the oh yeah, he does trailers. all the trailers, and then like. The and promo clips, the, yeah, all and all that. Him and David Edinburgh <laughs> <laughs> just next to each other. What's up, cuz? Next week, <laughs> He's like, what's up, cuz? What are we talking and about this year? Edinburgh West Side, West <laughs> on the Western <laughs> Frontier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that'd be that'd be a good idea, though. Man, I'm telling you. But one day, one day, we're gonna do that planet Earth. Hopefully. Yeah. What do you mean? You? Yeah. Well, I say we, because if you get the project and you ever deny it, I'm going to kill you. Nigga. You want to go leave in... You ain't got to do all that. But at Maybe least an something. African side. Yeah. Listen, here. I don't care how the roller coaster is made. I just want the ride. So we can go have a taste of this journey. But I don't think we're going to go research time. snakes. Fuck that. No, we don't gotta do snakes. Bro. I'm down for snakes. No. I'm always down for snakes. <laughs> Never in my life would I ever do snakes, bro. No. I'll be like, fuck out of here. No. no. No loyalty. What do you mean loyalty? For who? I know. Snakes have no loyalty, man. I don't know. Bro. No. Did I tell you uh, New Orleans when I had a fucking python? Oh, yeah. Bro. I have a fear of snakes. Mm. Like, we know that. Right. But I've also had these moments where I'm like, I need to conquer my fear. Okay. And I've done a couple of those. For example, skydiving. Yes. I was afraid mm. of it. I did it. Now I love it. I want to do it again. Yes. So with this same mentality, 
There are a bunch of people that were doing when we were in New Orleans. We were walking down the street. You've been in New Orleans on Bourbon mm-hmm. Street. Mm-hmm. There were a bunch of people that had snakes on their head. And I was like, and I saw a little girl do it. I saw everybody do it. I was like, okay, this is probably the time to conquer my fear. So I said, fuck it. So I paid. And then the man put it on my thing. And the bitches was heavy. Mm-hmm. And then I grabbed it. And I grabbed what I Too felt like tight. was... It was like straight up metal. I thought the rock was putting his arms around me. It was strong mm. and never did it register to me of the, like, I thought there would be squishy things. Fucking strong, Farm. strong muscle. Like mm-hmm. of now I see why they wrap around you and squeeze you. And I was like, bitch, why don't you just get out? You can't get out. No. That shit was strong. And I was like, this fear is justified. Get the shit off of me. <laughs> <laughs> this shit this is very mistake. justified. <laughs> no plan for this one. No. I see why. You know, usually uh, when I do those things, I'm like, oh, this wasn't as bad. I was uh, like, nope, this is just fine. No, I'm not doing no, this. No, no. Take this off. What's no. Funny, what's funny is because uh, I'm afraid of the ocean. I'll jump in every time, but give me immediately up, right? You just jumped in with us. Yeah, no, Diego. I'm afraid of the ocean. So oh. I've been planning to swim with the sharks uh, my next time going to Hawaii. I do that. Too. i just been mentally preparing myself to hold a shark's nose, close his mouth, and steer it. That's what a you do when they're supposed to. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do when they're attacking you. Or if they. Dumbass? No. They remind me of dogs, too, because dogs Haven't will you seen the news you first before they. Attack, and then they will figure out a way See, this is, on your blind side. Okay, PK. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, beg you, let me don't put you your hands anywhere near the shark. Oh no, I ain't touching no shark yet. No, but no, just just don't. don't. I know, but don't put You're that okay, in the back of your mind. No, okay. the only you, thing that's you can say you leave and listen, you didn't have to put your hands. First thing you gotta the shark. do is run, and if you get it. Am I gonna? Are you gonna run in the ocean, bro? No, that's that's your your dinner. Because no, you're dead anyway. But at least the more you move, you attract the shark. Well, first, don't bleed. Then that you. But the second (laughs) thing, the closest thing, you're fucked anyway. He watched Jaws. You're fucked anyway. But But kick it, kick it in the nose. That's why you're supposed to firmly push your hand. Nigga, don't put your nose. hands anywhere near it, bro. You ain't gonna lose a leg either. Leg is much uh, fucking. You have more reflexes <laughs> with a leg, bro. You trying to do like, hey, how are you? Go this well, way. Hey, so I'm watching. Nigga. Wait, so you Hell swim no. with wild sharks or like yeah, are they domesticated no. sharks? Wild sharks. Then why are you swimming you, in it? Who's swimming? Wait, in you're there? not in a cage? No. Huh? Yeah. What is the purpose? They do a cage one. Wait, but oh no, but this is guided. All the locals have said the cage is for the humans. You don't need it. All the locals. In Wait, you say the cage is for the humans? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? For the uh, for your own personal security, safety, whatever. But it was like, don't do it. So why? Because it's just better to be with nature with nature. Uh, yeah, the other the other fishes no, you can go okay. swim with. Why? Oh, why cool. do I need to swim with a shark, man? Hey, man, scratch off the bucket list. Go swim with dolphins. I'll do it, but with a cage. Dolphins are too fast, man. I, I'm I swim with dolphins. dolphins. What? Yeah. I want to. I want to. I want to ride a dolphin. No, they are actually really well, cool. They, they are, come to they, where you yeah. are. They'll dance around you and they'll well, go. They are considered In petty mm-hmm. of the mammals, but they're petty to each other, not to humans. Yeah, I'm yeah, like a so shark, sharp teeth, and like. But I don't know. they're not great whites. They're more like reef sharks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They're not like. Yeah, you're not swimming with no great whites. You're swimming with reef sharks. No way. Which are not or, or as uh, They're actually aggressive. not violent. They're even, not aggressive. Even great whites no. are not as violent as people make them. That's Jaws yeah, you uh, propaganda. T- t- tell that yeah, to someone else, man. But, oh, no, I'm still... I still Until I, when they bite I you. I still hold a fear. But at the same time, I'm like, let me prepare. Bro, there's three levels of teeth inside them. Like, yeah. I think, you know, it's a good experience. Yeah. With a cage. Yeah. Even though I'm going to no. lose my black card. If you're going to do it, just do it. I'm doing it without a cage. The black community is going to frown upon me. Just do it. No, but you got to do when it. When I you come out that water like uh, Poseidon, 
the black community and be like, he did it. <laughs> You'd be the new Halle Berry. <laughs> oh, no, your hair. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mermaid. <laughs> yes, okay. You can cross that off your bucket list. Yeah. No. So the funny thing is, like, Antoinette, yeah. I be, cause I say it at least two times a week. And she's just like, no. Get some life insurance before you do this. <laughs> and <laughs> she's like, there's no way you're going to swim with sharks without life insurance. And I'm like, all right. Eventually, I'm going to get life insurance. You know, Actually, life, life insurance, insurance isn't even going to do anything. Yeah, life insurance you is not going to do the risk, yeah. right? Yeah. You won't qualify. She yeah. knows that, right? I Tell mean, her that. Know, but she's just, she just trying to be, I don't know. But <laughs> she said, but get life insurance think about it, That's a selfish way of thinking. No, if fair. you die, nobody like, I got to take care of myself. <laughs> so I'm going to put a life insurance no, on. That's fair. I mean, I ain't going to be here. No, so. but think about it. That's <laughs> a good point, though. Do you think, play? No, that's a selfish act, though. It's like, no, I don't want to lose my husband is more of a... No, get her life insurance. Well, oh, if you want to go do it, go ahead. Do it. Give me my money. Give my money. See, she knows she got a stubborn hus husband who wants to be explorative. Just like, hey, bro, I'm doing all the white people shit. That's how I think about things. I'm finna do all the white people shit because they doing it. So we out here. No, nah, but I ain't gonna lie. It's it. Our own fear keeps us away from certain joys of life. Mm -hmm. Like what? Skiing, Skydiving, skiing, swimming. Especially swimming. Skydiving, bungee jumping. That's my my biggest mm. fight with black people. I'm like, learn how to swim, bro. No, nah, you swim, know, it's like, bro, you lose swim. forty percent of your uh, vacation time by not swimming. I that but one, half of them don't go on vacation, so that's true too. But no, but there's this not even like a community pool, bro. They I can mean, freak out, bro. If I go to Jamaica, a lot of people. Would, I definitely, I'm definitely going to the ocean. Not well, you're gonna the water. die in Jamaica, especially with the violence <laughs> happening now. So well, don't go to Jamaica. Costa Rica, <laughs> somebody. Costa Rica, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> someone with a beach. <laughs> I don't know if I should, I should say this, but Bebe Sole almost died in Costa Rica. What? Why? Yeah, because he slipped and <laughs> got dumped into a river. You know that was <laughs> Oh Jesus oh, Christ! Yeah, see, if you swim, well, I mean, currents is currents, but if you know I how think, to swim, you gotta I think at this, at this point, you know, you guys are still young, and at some point, you're gonna have children. Make sure they learn how to swim. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, yeah, a, that's, that's a gift that you can give them. Oh, yeah. But you see, until until I came to this country and understood the African-American culture, swimming is mandatory for every child where I'm from. Hmm. Oh, yeah, back home, we were not... Not even like proper swimming. It, it Everybody would jump proper and... Proper swimming, you'd be no. tossed in the water. Yeah, and you so just like, figure it you out. You do you, man. So... Well, thankfully for my mom, she's like, you're going to go learn it. And I had to go. But you think Every about summer, it, like, I had we, to go had, learn. we had like <clears throat> lakes, rivers, mm -hmm. access points that we. See, on, but we got like, no, and we America had has more things. access to water than. Uh, America has way more access. There's community swimming pools. Community swimming pools. YMCA, YMCA has. has like places that can teach you for free. Yeah. So you tell us, why do you all, you all don't swim? Um, Fear of drowning. Fear of drowning. Some but people make the if joke you learned of, how to swim, you won't drown. I'm but, not saying it's a reasonable well, freeing. A lot of uh, black kids have like this horrible experience where someone pushes, like you're at a pool party, you don't know how to swim, you're a little kid, push them in the pool. That's how we learned they, how to swim. Some dumbass pushed but you it's in. It's also in yeah. a black community, when one fears of, of something, There's, we have um, a very community. big tendency of spreading mm, that fear like to hive. everyone. Yeah. Uh, fear -based. Uh, Co community, Some people that uh, don't uh, swim because they know a cousin or a friend of a friend that almost died swimming. Yeah. And then that kind of just spreads off. They had it happen to themselves. To themselves as well. And yeah. I think everything is governed on back to what you were saying about fear. Yeah. And also like narratives that are based on other people. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're not mm -hmm. willing to explore past what your people said mm -hmm. yeah you know because if you ask zone. your grandma like oh no, no we don't do water yeah. or we don't do whatever and you the child same thing oh no mm -hmm. we don't do water yeah that's that's getting handed down instead of uh, instilling some type of confidence to be like yeah. look it's not that bad yeah right yeah. it's not and that bad go go do it man because absolutely the one how i like yo i learned how to swim at a swimming pool though but i learned how to swim mm -hmm. the same way I jumped off a 12 foot diving board. Didn't know how to swim. It's a bunch of black kids from Memphis going, man, look, swimming easy, man. Swimming easy, man. All you got to do is this. And you jumped. 12 feet in the air. 
About to jump into the pool. No wonder, no wonder, uh, no wonder Antoinette asked for insurance. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna walk her way like this in the life insurance policy. <laughs> once you get to the bottom, bro, just do that. And then you get to the surface, you do that. I'm right here, bro. I got you. And, it, and that's probably Press someone who doesn't know how to swim. Time. <laughs> and he had a life vest on. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, oh, man. At that time, they're pointing and yelling, he drowning, man. he drowning, he yeah. drowning. Nobody's man. coming to save you, man. <laughs> when I learned how to swim, it was during the summer where my mom was like, all right, you need to learn. Maybe like seven or eight or six. I don't remember. But I learned. I finally did it. And then to graduate from that little thing, you have to jump from the 30 feet, 40 feet thing. Hmm. That shit is scary. Did it. Amazing, great. And then the next day, now I'm all confident. I was like, I could do it. So I'm swimming and I'm having this. And I had a classmate of mine also pull up at that same spot. And he didn't know how to swim. He had a live vest on. So I was like, how you doing talking to him? And he started swimming. And then he got stuck in the middle and he couldn't get out. So he started to freak out, even though he had the vest on. Yeah, he ain't drowning. He ain't drowning. But he started to freak out. I was like, ah, ah, ah. And then the only person he could see and look in the vicinity was me. He said, yo, Malik, help me, help me, help me. I was like, I just learned how to swim. Let y'all help you. Oh, hell. Jumped, went there. And I was like, all right, let me get you. And then I tried to grab him and push him, but he kept freaking out. And I couldn't really, I didn't have the strength to push him out. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, good. Get on my back. Oh, <laughs> or hold no. my back. He said, okay. He went the, the immediately. That motherfucker grabbed me and dunked me. <laughs> That's what I thought. And then he's like, oof. Okay. And I'm like, underneath, like, Rah! freaking out. I was like, get off of me. <laughs> Bro, I thought I wasn't going to die. I was like, no. No. <laughs> And then, like, like, black kids that they do the exact same thing. Yeah. So as, as they grab when you're yeah. trying to drown, you like, bro, what do we do? That's and exactly then, yeah. Fuck Every time I pop out, he's like, move, move. And I'm like, I can't move. And I'm like, and then back down again. Jesus. I was like, and then finally he let me go. And I was like, basics, I'm gonna go call somebody. There has to be the basics of understanding water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's, it's like, like, I'm trying to help you, but you're sinking me. That's why, like, most guys no who end up uh, trying to save people who are drowning, yeah. the people who are trying to help end up drowning, because this other person is, like, holding to you tight. Yeah. But you're underwater, so it's like, I can't help you, bro. You're actually, like... Bro, it's crazy. You yeah, know what I mean? So you end up the... being tag of, like, let go of me, so it becomes <laughs> a fight between the two of you. Instincts kicks in. And you're, there's oh, yeah. just yeah. nothing they could tell you. So, yeah, no. Yeah, there's nothing they could tell you. I don't you. know. I don't know. You get, they say you get but, the mistake. But you see, even in yeah. all, even all of us, if we we're stuck in that situation, we would all just panic, and that's kind of kind of no, have to no, learn. Yeah, the it. panic is there. Is, so how do you how do you handle that if you're trying to help someone? Don't help someone unless you're trained. That was what I learned. Yeah, the hardest lesson. I think even like a lot of uh, I think like military people. Like I'm trying to think uh, which division they say don't help unless you you're trained, and if yeah. they're trying to. If they're really panicking, some people say knock them out. I was like, I don't know how you're gonna do that. If it's the military, they probably not. That's why give yeah. you a stick. Yeah. That's actually a great idea. Yeah, yeah. That's what they do on the side. Yeah, or just throw the, the float device. Yeah, and then pull them in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hang on to that, and then I will pull you yeah. back in. It's fucking dangerous. Because it is, it is a risky. At least it's a pool, but you imagine you're in the deep end, and some guy yeah. is trying to shove you, and he's using his feet to to shove you down. Yeah. And he's holding on to you. That's the worst part. Yeah, because I've, I've had some experience like that too. Because um, in Washington, Seattle, uh, the place we went to was lakes. So we were just swimming those ice cold ass lakes. And one of my friends was like, help me, I'm drowning. Ah. And I tried to do it. Same situation. Bro, pushing my head. I'm like, bro, I'm not even a strong swimmer like that. <laughs> I can't even float. <laughs> so bro, I like kind of pushed him. I was like, can you walk? Well, I like kind of dragged him to where I can stand up. Yeah, he's still trying to panic and yeah. drown. I guess I'm like, here, put your feet down. <laughs> <laughs> he just, oh, bro, my bad, bro. <laughs> so, you see the like, video of the child panic. screaming, holding a rope, <laughs> and then the sister walks over there, and be like, just stand. He's like, no. I'm just Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> just go about his day. <laughs> Fucking funny as hell. Well, but, hey, crazy thing though, when you talked about being afraid of the ocean, yeah. I had a panic moment. Uh, when I was in Thailand, we did snorkeling with my family and them. And then there, they give you the snorkel machine, and then they give you the 
what do you call it? The legs, the flap, the flap, flap the flippers, flippers, right? So they say don't do the flippers unless you want to go deeper, and, mm -hmm. and always wear a life vest unless you know how to swim. Mm -hmm. And this is they're gonna broken. wear a life vest underwater. Yeah, with flippers. Well, because certain people they want to have the experience because you can just dunk your face. Leave. You can dunk your face like yeah, this, yeah. and you can still see the fishes yeah. from a little no, bit. I mean, like if I'm going deeper, I'm not wearing a life vest, right? Yeah, but, but okay. yeah, yeah. So. But it's either or, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to go deep, you do the flippers, the vest. Um, you stay up and you just dunk your face and you look. I was like, I know how to swim. I'm okay. I'll do the flippers. Took the flippers and it was fine. Everything was great. Mm -hmm. Everything was good. I was going deeper than most people. I was enjoying it. And then the snorkel was helping, even though you have to come back out for a little bit to mm -hmm. get air back again. Mm -hmm. So I was doing this and then I saw this one little fish that was like a uh, finding dory, that fish. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is dope. So I started swimming, and then the the guy told me to really do it. You kind of you kind of have to do this, yeah. and it's like a different level of muscle on its own. Mm -hmm. So I did that, and it was amazing. I found him and all that, and then <coughs> my snorkel was about to end, and I look up, and I went deep. I went deep. I didn't that thing. I didn't realize how oh, yeah. fucking fast yeah. that thing is. Oh, yeah. So now I look up and then panic. That's working. I all had, the time. had air. Now the air, everything I have started to shrink. I was like, everything. The, and then there's this one light that I'm seeing, and everything else is dark. And I was just narrow focus on it. And then panic. And then it was back. And it's much harder to flap back up mm -hmm. than it is deep in. Yeah. Oh my God. It was maybe six seconds, right? But that was, <laughs> to me, it was like five minutes. I was like, I could have waited. And I keep flapping. It's not going. And I was like, I think I'm going to die. Mm. And then I feel my heart like just compressing. And I was like, this is it. I was going to die. And then I fucking flap and I come out and I'm like. <gasps> <sighs> was it deep enough for like any like pressure sickness, was you? No, it's not that deep, but it's, <laughs> it's, oh, the, it's the, my mentality of, I didn't think I was that deep because I was so lost. But when you look up, my brain said, you're going to die. This is not where we expect it to go. And I come out and the trainers are looking at me laughing. They're on the boat just watching me. These little tight motherfuckers are going, <laughs> I'm look, everybody's having a good time. I'm the only one, like everybody's doing their thing. I'm like, <laughs> like are you okay? I, that's what he said. Are you okay? And I was like, uh, yeah, but I need to come back. <laughs> He's like, started laughing. He's like, no more flippers. I said, no more flippers. Give me the best. <laughs> Put I'll the stay best up here. On. And I started no. just dunking my face the next time. I was like, Oof. I had the same. I had the same uh, situation. Was that Mombasa or Zanzibar? It was one of the two islands. But mine, I went down. And then, you know, like ours was a little bit of a bigger boat, so I could see it. Mm. But I went down and I think actually like took off a little bit of an angle. Coming back up, I couldn't see anything yet. Ooh. So as I'm coming up, I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. What if these people left? You know what I mean? Because you can't see, I couldn't see the boat, but yeah. when I was going down, I could see axis of it. Yeah. So your brain starts functioning of like, oh shit, maybe I came off from the wrong direction and all that. And then you come up and the first point that you're looking, obviously, sometimes you're looking the opposite direction and you're like, oh. oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> split second, I'm like, oh man. And then I turn, but you're shocked, right? So you, I turn and I see the, the other guys. They were a little bit further, but they were uh -huh. still there. You have this deep breath, but uh, the guys that spotted me, they're like, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, Because your mind goes into this whole thing. Because, you Bro, know, we the took, facial reactions? Like the whole oh. thing, we, we went far deep into the ocean to get yeah. into this place, mm. Jesus right? Christ. So you, the water is all blue, the fish, you know, mm -hmm. and everything. So it's beautiful. But you're like in the middle of somewhere where if these guys left you, ain't no way you're going back. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're done. It's like 30 minutes away yeah. from the mainland. I'm like, I can't Jesus. swim that. But, but yeah, the facial little... reaction of you freaking out coming back up. Oh, yeah. Like... If you've never had, if, you, that if you're a deadpan person in your life, just that shock, the most, your eyes are wide open. You just like, because <gasps> you're like, oh, shit, uh, what happened? Yeah. yeah, it's a crazy level but of panic. It's, it's an interesting. But approach. the thing is, though, it's all the, the mental. power of the brain. The yeah. power of the brain. It's the yeah. craziest thing. That's why I'm like, <clears throat> that's what a lot of people are saying with the shark situation. Was like, it's about. They they put into some spiritual stuff where you know I listen to that heebie-jeebie stuff, 
And it was just like, it's about uh, your calmness and your ability to control yourself in a situation that you have no control in. And I was like, okay. hell yeah, I'm all about yeah. it. But all right, let the, us know when you do it. My yeah, inner so blackness is just definitely don't put screaming. your hand inside the shark's mouth. <laughs> Fucking gently tap it. Does nah, not do you that. You gotta firmly grab his nose, close his mouth, and then push it aside. Firmly. So is that you trying to do that on purpose, or is there a reason why you're trying to do that? That's what a lot of uh, like. What, expert... if the, what if the shark has no business with you? Are you gonna just be oh, looking nah. for it so you can go grab it and close well, it? Well, there's a pattern that you watch out for. That's it. Uh because okay. they do a thing where they circle you, and then if they swim right at you, they coming for you. Okay. So uh, you can see that happening. So okay. mo- more than likely, they will leave you alone. But if they mm-hmm. swim right at you, they won't beef. So, okay. Okay. Well, it was good to know. Well, Malik, gentlemen, you wanna, you thank wanna, you very much. Yeah, you saw uh, the camera? Yes. <laughs> you want to <laughs> cut it? Uh, yeah, it's but let's wrap go. it up, though. Okay, we got two minutes. Up. Okay. I uh, appreciate you on the pod. This is, I don't know, be episode two or oh, one. Yeah. But, this will be two. Uh, but, this will be and two. you know what? This I, one should go public, I, man. Yeah, I I actually overthought it because I had so much notes of maybe we won't get in time. We we only touched like maybe three, four topics. I know, so, man. So, so we don't. Yeah. So this this will be great. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Um, we're still trying to figure out the name, but we will. And then when we release it, there'll be the name over there. Yeah. And that's the name. Until then, I'm the Kedrick. <laughs> I'm Roy. Wanguhu. Roy Wanguhu. I am Roy Wanguhu. And this is Malik Kailu. Welcome to the LL Pod. Maybe. Maybe. Title pending. Title pending. We'll see. Title right. pending. Appreciate Peace. you guys. What do we want to call it, actually? That's an interesting thing. Wait, let's let's leave a beat so that we can have something to fade out of. All right. Well, maybe we add this in, too. <laughs> it is going to go in now. <laughs> there you go. You know what? Let us know in the comments section. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, and then let us know what we should call this podcast. All right. Bye. 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 All right. <laughs> Enough. <laughs>